Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato. His name is Rhapsody, and also his name is Lolash. We That's got right. Lolash I changed here. my name to Lolash and Rhapsody. Both of those. It's hey, a... hey, hey. Whoa. No brand stealing. All right. I'm actually here. Yes, that's right. Lolash is here as well. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, wait, so, is the last Lolash. series we did together Worms WMD? It might be. Oh, How long ago was that? the last series we did? <laughs> Three, four years now? Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Aussie boys unite. It's been a All while. Right? Yeah, no yeah, kidding. Well, yeah, exactly. All right. Hey, so Slipways is a game and it's a lot of fun, right? Yeah, it's, it's a good game. It's a good game. Lolash, tell you what, since you're the guest, why don't you go first? What are your three favorite uh, your three favorite peeps here? Who who do you like? Who do you like best? Okay, so I'm a big fan of Mr. Mineral at the mm. top there. I don't remember the name of the race. It's Bakar, right? Bakar, um, yeah. Bakar have a lot of really fun techs like Gravitic Tugs, uh, you know, Geothermal, that sort of thing which can be really strong. Uh, and also that power grid perk is nothing. It's so good. If you can, it's so yeah, good. If you can get a reliable source of power, that's really, really strong. Yep. Um, the other one that I've been having a lot of fun with recently is Vittori. Yeah. Okay. 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 So the reason I've been enjoying Vittori a lot recently is you can massively amp your score with technologies like technocracy in the late game, uh, by, which gives you a really reliable, cheap, quick way to boost your happiness based on your population. Uh, and they also have some really fun techs in the mid game that can eliminate the need for certain types of planets and stuff. So I like them a lot. And and also, Quantum Sensors, I'm telling you, I, I rate it. It's it's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. Yep. Quantum Sensors is afraid. like often... Yeah. Yeah, Quantum Sensors is often a... Uh, like, you know how when you're doing level 1 techs, quite often you'll pick one that you really want, and the second one is just a throwaway to get access to the level 2s? Yep. Yep. Quantum Sensors is a really nice 7-point tech that gives you a tangible benefit, but isn't super expensive. And then, um, yeah, the uh, the Green Boys, yeah. Mr. Robot, the Silthids, have some really great ways to boost your financial economy um, and utilize bad planets. And so this is, this is the three that I think I have the most success with when I get them as a trio. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this would be my council of choice at the moment. I mean, like I have... I, the Dender are pretty good as well. I don't like uh, Galaxy Helmet Boy much. You don't like the Euphorias? What? Why? I'm... They're so good. Hyperlane's OP. Hyperlane's are pretty good, but I find uh, the... Um... My brain is not working. Hype. Xenotourism is very hype. What's the name of the uh, purple slipways again? Uh, Infraspace the... relays. Yeah. Yeah, the infraspace relays. Like, don't get me wrong, hyperspace, really cool, allows you to make some connections earlier in the game. But infraspace relays are so powerful if you know how to use them correctly that I just, I, I don't feel the need to dip into hyperspace. So, I, I will say that. On the last couple of runs that me and Raps have been doing, we've not taken any slipstream mod slipstream modification techs, and we've had a really good time anyway. Mm -hmm. Like we've had no issues late game. Like, yeah. It's been five star. We've had issues early game. That's something that yeah. uh, it, it'd be really good to get uh, some of your input on. Uh, I because no one did at the very start. I would just like to quickly lay down uh, Lolash's bona fides here. Uh, being a strategy game player at heart and heavily stra uh, like heavily specializing in the genre, but also you have the highest score I've ever seen in this game so far, Lolash. Yeah, so it was only on challenging. It wasn't on the hardest difficulty, but I did manage to to put up a, a 22k plus score. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I am really loving Slipways. I've been playing it a lot off stream, uh, just having some fun with it and. It tickles me in all of the ways that 
a game like this should tickle me. So yeah, I, I really enjoy the game and I'm here. I, I'm probably going to take sort of a backseat role. You know, this is your series. I'm coming in as a special guest. But if, if there's like little optimizations and stuff that I've discovered, I'll be able to share them with you and, and hopefully help boost our scores. We'd love to hear them. Although I will well, note, you, you mentioned that you wanted Bacar. Sorry to talk over you a bit here, but I'll, I'll, I'll be done in a sec. You mentioned Bacar because you liked some of the things like geothermal uh, plants, not vents. I keep saying vents, but that's a off-world trading company thing. Geothermal plants, yep. as well as gravitic tug. It has neither of those at the moment. Do you still rate Bacar? So, Bacar still gives you access to some, like pretty valuable techs in the early game uh you can get a lot of additional money from gravitic mining mm. um uh a hundred percent increased value of exploited asteroids i don't know about you guys but sometimes i find myself really struggling financially in the early game <laughs> and if you go for some early labs if you go for no, some early labs and never snag gravitic us. mining <laughs> <laughs> then you can make a huge amount of money, like a three or four planet, uh, a three or four planet um, asteroid can be worth like 36 or 48 money. It's a lot. It's so, pretty pogged. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what do you think we should take here? Do you think we should take, uh, what's, what's the perk? Power grid? Xenology, Space Architects, Factory Builders, what are the perks? Given that you've dis decided on the races, decide on the perks too. Okay, so we don't have geothermal plants, which mm. makes me question the energy production thing. You can still okay. get a lot of value out of it, especially if you get solar on the second mm -hmm. uh, tech tier. Um, but the minerals into money whenever you deliver minerals you get money can actually be pretty pog in the early game it allows you to expand a little bit more quickly um okay so really either of those perks are quite good uh and and i like them um other than that none of these perks are excellent we've like missed the really good perks for the mm -hmm. other two races as well yeah. unfortunately um uh structure building costs can save you a lot of money um in the long run especially if you are not going for hyperspace like because you will be building more relays and you'll probably want quite a few labs with the vittori so mm -hmm. i'll um it that also... can be pretty good I'll also offer here that the micro labs from the late levels of Silthid would give us the ability to utilize more of the ore that we'll get from Bakar deep drilling, mineral seeding. Uh, and yeah. they're also structures that are going to give us most of the things that Forge Worlds otherwise would. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah, I would probably go, I would probably go structures and mineral delivery. That should shore up our early game economy. And then we use a strong science base to get access to a lot of tier two and tier three techs mm -hmm. and use that early economy to transition into a strong late game that would be my play with this setup i, I want to say i think this is the b team i think this is you know this is a b plus right this is a b plus team I, I don't necessarily think that it's the a team there's no mr t but there's some good qualities here you know i mean if there's we're, some stuff if going we're, on if we're proffering thoughts in, uh, in in my own individual play, I would have dropped the Vittori there and I would have taken Euphorian or I would have dropped both Bacar and Silthid and swapped to Dendi and Euphorian. A Dendi. Dendi and Euphoria. So yeah, exactly. Ah, yes. Pop up a Dendi. Dendi's, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, well, I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing this four banger here. It's pretty good. Uh... There's a That's five banger great. on your right side as well, I think. There is a five banger there as well. Spicy. Mm. Okay. All right. I mean, actually, Lolash, do you explore more than this, or do you try and find ways to utilize the galaxies you get in your first two scans? How how are you managing your economy early game? Because we skip a lot of years early. It works out in the end. <laughs> yes. But we end up skipping a lot of years. Don't tell him that, Rhapsody. <laughs> Rhapsody, we never skip a year. We've never skipped. I've a year. never skipped a year. Which is why we don't need <laughs> okay. advice, but I'll ask for it anyway. 
<laughs> so my typical starting point is I'll I'll scan twice and then I'll look for any two way import exports that I can set up, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So in this example here, you've got primordial and arid, which gives you a people into water, water into people, right? Which is a really strong foundational link um, for setting up an early colony. And then you've got options like biomass into food, food into there, or you've got uh, robots into food, food into there. So there's a few ways to get food in there, and there's mm -hmm. lots of other planets that you can get around it. There's also two of those links, so you could even look to set up like two of those colonies early on if there's a decent food supply that we can get running. There can but yeah, be. I would yeah. food supply mm. from monoculture is supplied by breeding program. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, exactly what exactly. I was going to say. Yeah. So yeah, there's um, there's a really great like trio link here where we can get two early human colonies set up. Um. And honestly, colonies are where you make the most money. If you can provide them with all the resources they need, that's I'm your... Just, uh... I'm yeah, just do trying you to want think to do the monoculture anywhere. at the very north instead? Yeah, no, you want I mean... monoculture in the middle, because then you've got food to both of the arid colonies, in my opinion. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Okay, I see. I see that. Wouldn't you need I to... I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, hmm, you're right. The the yeah. other drafts would be for when you get the water out, you have the ability to apply that to the colony, and then also the excess can go back to the other primordial planet, giving you more um, creation of your... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, that works. I, I'm just so, sort of trying to think if there's any way that we can get around this where we actually turn a profit year one. I, I guess it yeah. has to be this way then. Yeah, that's then, that's how you set it up. There, then, uh, there is an argument to be made for mm -hmm. water on that central primordial, just because you want to be able to feed water into that mineral planet, right? Second input on a mineral uh, planet is water. Oh yeah, it's it's well actually it's totally it within reaches. range. Yeah, it just locks it just locks in that. Uh, I suppose mm. locking in that biomass planet is not an issue because the biomass planet is literally just people into biomass for the for the food right like that's the only reason it's there so here's here's my suggestion we could colonize this world right now but that's going to bring us into the new year with reduced income so i would suggest that we hit a scan because it's basically free if we don't reduce our income and then we just do all this faff in the next year love it that would be my my suggestion yeah I, it, now is a good time to like scout around the two human worlds to see if we can get goods at either of them. Ooh. It's a world. No. That's, that's not a link. It's obstructed. Actually, oh, wait. what? Oh, why, does the, uh, why does the ult oh, not Oh, because it's not, not currently exporting anything that the other planet wants. Yeah. Oh, yes. It wouldn't register on the Richter scale. I, I mm. see. Yes. The, the next okay. level colony uh, does, does require... Is it chip? Or, or is it good for this? It's definitely good. good. It's definitely it's good. good. It's okay, always, yeah. I think it's always good. It's like the third good for colonies. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's always the third good. Yeah, yeah. So colonies require whatever they need to set up and then goods. They're the only resources that they'll need. So it's one of the reasons Earth like colonies are so strong is because you only need hmm. two inputs food and goods. Uh, also, I, I thought the two scans would get us over the year, but apparently. It's fine. I mean, Try we must be really close. North. Yeah. Like, uh, so, I've just seen much? a great. I've just seen a great thing. Ooh, what's that? Um, I believe on the south side here, we have a mineral planet that can take water from an ocean planet, put minerals into a forge world, and that forge world may be in range of both arid planets for goods, possibly. Ooh, uh, there's no way for me colonize to colonize it. Unless connect I do. the yeah, colonize it. There you go. And then it is undo if you don't. Right. Okay. So if we, yeah. So this is this is this is actually a really juicy start. I think we can get two goods to colonies by the end of year two, which is huge. That is pretty, really huge. Pretty bog. I I would like to forefront. Uh, we do not yet have a concentration of one material that we are considering researching. 
we will have excess people, yeah. but we should start thinking about having two planets that are researching or producing the same output. I, I think maybe like up here, seeing if we can maybe find another water it's, planet it's or another water planet economy. in here. Yeah, we, we want it up in the middle yeah. of those two arids. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, if I we, guess if we can help it. One more scan, maybe. I mean, it sucks that we're spending so much on scanning, but say la vie, yeah. as they say. I would want to scan to the top right of the water planet. I want to know what those three planets are, because if one of them is a uh, mineral can, or a water, pour, that could you can pour going to the set. There you go. Yeah, but that middle one's not going to be a planet, right? Yeah. It, it might not, right. but if it was an asteroid instead, <laughs> it was in the middle of a bunch of ones. We were going to have yeah. to scan yeah. it eventually for the possibility of the asteroid. All right. All missions, right missions first. What do we got? But definitely Vittori. I think like that's like we're going to complete that within a year, two years. Probably and this as well. And seven new planets is a lot easier than four robots. Yeah. Oh, it's so easy mode. I mean, we have no roadmap to actually produce a single robot as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Not in, the, not in the immediate future. Right now, we're going to okay. be like food on the primordial and then set up the two colonies. Yeah. So At first, Lolash, how do you handle uh, your mission selections? What are you looking for? What are you not looking for? Okay, so when I'm selecting missions, the first thing I care about is how quickly I can complete them. Because you can take an infinite number of missions. They don't run out. Yeah. Um, so the more missions you can complete, the more score you can get at the end of the game. So first thing is how easy they're going to be complete to complete, how quickly I can turn them over. Uh, after that, I look at the rewards. So how much score they're going to give, how much uh, money they're going to give, that kind of thing. So That's four income. That's a pretty good connection, I think. It, it is, but it also torpedoes 16 of our cash. And I was just sort of thinking, again, we're in a... We're in an, awkward position where i can't colonize a planet by the end of the year without bumping it into the next year you, you don't do that it is you only one you make that connection uh, sorry in my mind i'll i'll say you yeah. make that connection yeah you skip to the next year you colonize the mineral planet and then the uh forge world next to it you make the uh original colony successful with the goods that's my pitch for how this would roll out you can undo it after you do it but like that's how i would do it let's give it a shot there we yeah, go. So that, 25 income. Yeah, successful colonies are like if you look at the amount of income that planet is making compared to every other planet, it's massive. It's so much more. You really want to be chasing early successful colonies. Do you want to show us the um colonies income? Yeah, sure can. We are on 12. 12. Cuz you can end up with 8s and 10s in there with a successful colony anyway. So uh, not colony, sorry, a successful planet. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's definitely a good position. Hey, it only actually, think, yeah. wow, it's got all of its trading requirements for prosperity as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, it absolutely does. Just needs three successful planets. Which will be pretty easy to set up. The uh, primordial in the center will go successful as soon as it exports to the arid colony to the right. Yep. And yep. Um, the ones the... to the north needs a human import. That's the That'll be order. connected at some point as well. It would need a human import. Well, yeah, the, you're the, right, southern, the southern mineral planet will probably get water from a, a source down south, and that will make it successful as well. Like that ocean planet, for instance. Or a thawing facility, or the yeah. Possibly. Thawing facility, yeah. Is, is um, the one uh, to the north of that an ice ball, or is that also Arctic? Sorry, the north of the Arctic you just checked. That's ice ball. That's ice ball. Yeah. It's ice ball. Yeah. I, I like I like this, but the the problem is it feels very slow because we are we are gonna have to skip another year. Yeah, Maybe, no, feel, I think feel I think free to undo it. Let's have another discussion. Like this this was just me forcing through. Like I want to visualize for the viewers yeah. the thing that I'm trying to describe here. I think you're right though. I think it is the one that secures the most passive income. Uh, undo one but, more step uh, though because that was also the the connection. If you don't want to make that one, uh, I guess. Two uh, what this one here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just sort of thinking if there's anything else that we can do. We've also got to be, you know, we've also got to bear in mind that by colonizing these two planets, we come within one planet or within two planets, technically, of our empire size increase. Mm. So. And that's really do me harsh a favor. and tough. Yeah. It's a big um, one. So, so here's a little tip. Um, we need to know what the prospects are to the right of that arid world. Just colonize it so the scanners show you how many blips are out there. Because we can undo it. 
but there There's there seems lot. to be a lot of planet options, right? So that's good news. Five banger to the north, four banger to the south. There's a couple unlikelies in there though. I, I, I don't want to even, I don't want to I don't want to drag it over it. just in case I <laughs> <Yeah>. let go. <laughs> good, good thinking. Um, I I kind of like. I really like the whole goods connection stuff. I'm just conscious of the fact that if we do want to get the second colony up and running, it's going to require an 18, an 18 money route, which is big, which is big bucks, unfortunately. Well, yeah, uh, the goods, the goods are secondary. We need to make sure we can get a source of water over there. If it was yeah. me, it would get goods to the first human colony because it's going to be the biggest income bump. And I then think that next is the year. I think Next year, cool. I would try and get that arid colony. You really want two colonies set up early so that you start making some money. I think I think this is the play. There we go. I mean, yeah, that's it's pretty incredible. It's pretty good. I mean, it is October. We're going to skip a couple of months, but I, I don't think that's necessarily too bad. So you now I would scan that. A... Yeah, there you go. Scans three. This one? I think, yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah. Yep. That's water. Which world remnant? That's water right there for the, uh, for the colony right there. I'll tell you, that makes me okay, feel a little it? worse about that forge world positioning that we have, because we could have taken the same, uh, we could have done the entire same thing, but with a forge world to the left of the forge world we ended up colonizing. Uh, well, this forge world no. won't be able to reach this arid. Yeah, no, no, it's it's the one to the sorry left. Yeah, this one, that one, that one could have gotcha. been a connection. It's just it would have taken a little more money on the the slipstream construction, slipway construction. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we skip because there's nothing else to do this yeah. year anyway. So, uh, twenty five, twenty five bucks. What's next? Yes. So for me, I get that arid planet, that second colony, to successful. Um, How do you plan on feeding is... that? It'll take so years. It, it won't take years. It'll take a year. Uh, although it might take <laughs> two years because of money. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, it's quite. It's, <laughs> it's colony, <laughs> slipstream in the food, and then colony the uh, the mechanized harvest world. Okay, watch our income, by the way. 27 to 18. That's actually not terrible. And I then, so next, mm. yeah. Next month, I think, with an asteroid pop, we can get that colony successful. And that should bring our income up to a, um, a pretty reasonable amount. There's a couple of asteroids that we could potentially hit. Uh, okay, let me hit you with a, let me hit, let me hit you with a radical play here. Love it. Is that no? It's not uh, even worth it because our income decreases by the exact same amount that yes. popping an asteroid would would be worth. Yeah. Um. Okay. My radical play has been dispensed with. I, I think to be honest, I think we skip and then next year we do mechanized harvest and then goods connection. I think we should have enough. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, if we skip this year before the end of the year, I like it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then, that's that, and then. That that takes us you, back you up to twenty six. You still need an export from there. It's probably down to the remnant planet in order to get the uh, the bot. robots. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, well, pop this one, or perhaps pop this one, or perhaps pop this one, or I I, I would I, pop I, the one up top. I don't think you can pop enough of them to get the remnant as well as the two connections you need to actually make it not sad. I could get one though. Like we could get the supplying. It's oh, it's only going to cost three, and then it's going to cost eight. So it's going to cost eleven. So you have to pop so that's two, two asteroids. asteroids in suboptimal positions in order to do that. I I, I would I still to think the next it's year worth it. Set them up at the start of the next. Really? Yeah. So I would actually go as far as oh damn, we're yeah, one you month can't short. Even do it in time. Yeah. All right, we skip a year then. Rhapsody's right. What is what is uh let me let me just check what this gives us. It takes so that gives us five income that connection. That's actually ginormous. Um hold up, before I make that connection though. 
I can make that connection. That might actually be optimal. 26 income as opposed to... Was it 24? Oh, 20, check. 20... Okay, it's exactly the same. It's Ignore 26. me. <laughs> Nothing matters. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, I feel like the opportunity cost is, is too high to sacrifice these asteroids, given that we are going to be colonizing this mineral yes. world. Yep, it's, it's, I agree. it's too high. So we what we skip in we skip in June and then we uh, we just get it all set up in uh, in 06. If if I'm correct. like correct in the mental model I'm working with at the moment, this is going to be the second last year we skip. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'm I'm okay with skipping. I think skipping is completely it's fine. It's part of the game on higher difficulties for sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Both of those. So that's looking. Important. That's looking good. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a water planet down here. Well, one more, Supreme one more robot, one more robot into that ocean, uh, that jungle world will produce an extra water, which will go to the remnant world anyway. That's Canapog, actually. Um, yeah, that's an option there, by the way. Mineral, mineral mm -hmm. from arid. Uh, and successful is this planet. Obviously, the most important thing is it allows us to double collect on an asteroid. Don't know I'd if like, it's yeah. what we want to do. I'd like to recenter the discussion option. on uh, on uh, research right now because we're gonna yeah. have to think yes. about that in the upcoming two years. So I would I would make that mineral planet connection to get the successful, mm -hmm. um, and to give us access to that asteroid, and then I would take the time to look for. A research opportunity which is either setting up another colony near something that we have multiple resources of or alternatively uh just scanning a bunch and trying to find let me a, let me uh, hit you with an option here sure something that would be able to generate us quite a significant amount of research i think we can make a connection to this asteroid here in addition to the minerals that we're going to be producing on this planet, if we pop a lab, like, right about here, we can get a source of ore, a source of ore, and maybe if we do want to keep this, we could get another source of ore, but I don't think it's, it's that no, worth. No, you, yeah, you can't keep the first asteroid and make the connection with the second it obstructs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, I, yeah, exactly. We can't even do that. So, that would be that's, something, that's and maybe if there's another ore planet or up here. person? Yeah. Two or one person, that would be three like, signs. If I'm I ideally want to go one person, two of a resource, or two people, two of a resource. Like, I always want to put two resources into a lab. Otherwise, I feel like I'm making it a kind of, like, inefficient trade in terms of the upkeep. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be two and... resources. That would be or and or or person, right? Oh, right. Sorry, you're right. It would be. My bad. I yeah. somehow thought that... Never mind. Yeah, I, I think, like that. I think that's how it works, anyway. Thing. Actually, no. Yeah. Uh, in f okay, ignore me. We don't even we don't even have the tech. We can't even asteroid mine. So my idea is uh, is garbage. It's it's actually garbage. Uh, so it's good, but... yeah, <laughs> my play here is colonize the mineral world and then spend some money. Uh, like colonize the mineral world, pop the asteroid, spend the rest of the year scanning some nearby planets uh, and try I... to find. Yeah. Tech. I just interject. can you undo those two things? I, I would like you to send the scout up to the top right for that fire banger before you go to that. Because we can't undo the scout. Yeah. Good shit, no, actually. The, to, to the right of that. Like, there's a fire banger. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, Those were sad. so likely as well. Yeah, yeah that was pretty sad. Okay, um, yeah, do I mean, the same thing, though. I kind of want to know what this planet is, which is a real shame because yeah. it's it's a strong signal, high likelihood of a planet right there. We you may end need... up finding it at the bottom of another scan, but do the same thing you previously did. You need, need to colonize that mineral world now. Yeah. So that we can and hit the pop, asteroid. Then connect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then um, we do one scan, which is probably a triple there, right? It's definitely a triple... That's probably the triple, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Closer to the ocean planet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is All right. the ocean planet. All right. That's, no, this that's is, actually this is, fine. This is absolutely huge. Okay. 
Ooh, what yeah, high um, worlds. So, uh, ocean worlds are one person outputs two water, which is very strong for adding additional connections to the mineral worlds down south as well. Um, so here's here's my thought. Uh, we ocean world the center, like water export the the center one. Mm -hmm. Um, you want to study and, water? Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna set up a study for water here. <laughs> and can we? Is there is there a chance? It's a long link, but can we get food from that primordial up to the Earth? Like, so close, and also it's out of range. But anyway, it's obstructed. Yeah. yeah, that is a little unfortunate. Now that is going to be a but, two-way uh, trade, so you will that's lose eight. Yeah, yeah. Look it's at a that two-way trade. Oof. Um, so that's that's real juicy. We can we can do that and then probably make that Earth like another human planet, and then we can set up a lab in between the two ocean planets, and we should be able to get a person and like there. Yeah. So we'll need we'll need space for the Earth like to feed over to the other water to give it a so person. It needs to be lower. It'll need to be a touch lower. Oh, it's, maybe it's like in be between tight. the desert and the one that you've colonized at the moment. There you go. No, because okay. you want it high yeah. enough that the Earth like can also feed into it. Yeah, that's, that's oh, what I was I sort thought, of thinking. Sorry, like I thought this... the Earth like was feeding people to. It is, but it will also feed a person into the lab. There's a there's Why? a way. Yes. I think it's tight. <laughs> there's there is a lab position there. I think that will give us. Earthlight goes into the other water world. Earthlight goes into the lab. Arid goes into the lab. Both water worlds go into the lab, and we get a two human, two water. Can you let me hit you with an bolt on the lab itself? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That makes all those connections. You're right. Let me let me hit you with an alternative. What about what about one of these right here? Studying more water. It it leaves uh, a couple of holes. Okay, where in are the our, people coming uh, from? Oh no 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 that's that's not important. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very the, important. The, the people are not coming. The people are not coming, Raps. The water research itself. With that notion, exactly. Well, the people are coming from here. Uh well, okay. But one, those one people peeps, are used to water. fund the other two things at the moment. Yeah, but we got two peeps. Yeah, exactly. One and, for each of those, yeah, that's and then range. none for the lab. Yeah. No, no, well, that can't reach, so that's, you know, this is just going to go yeah. people-less for a little while. And the then Earthlight that... has to be a people. Does it, though? Yeah, I think I mean, is, right. Otherwise, we're going to end up with two planets that require a people input that we can't put people into. All right, so that, that, and then you want people here? That's and then the you idea, want to make yeah. that connection there, right? And then Except... if we can put a lab just under that slipway, there might be a way for us to get two people and two water in. I see. I see exactly what you're saying. You see... Okay. Yeah. Let me um. Let me do this in such a way. Okay. So I need to check. That that connection can be made, even though it's not going to be that. Okay, then uh, I need. That's water. I... That's water. There, people there. Oof! This is going to be. This is going to be a rough connection, actually. It's going to be I'm... tight, but I'm pretty sure there's a place where it'll sit. If if if, if not... it moves further towards, so imagine there is a line being drawn between the dust ball, uh, desert, sorry, uh, planet and the the ocean to its north, and just move a little closer to it. There, there, maybe. Closer? Let me let me test it. this out. There you go. It connects to all yeah. of those, but uh, can Brilliant. it be bypassed by the connection from the northern uh, ocean planet? Yes, yes, it can. It looks like it. Can. Beautiful. Yep. It absolutely yep. can. Cool. That's okay. Awesome. So then, we want to make this connection first. I think we want to get the connections first that impact 
Do we care more about money short term That's or do we care more, more about money when we make that double connection though? So I think we want to yeah. definitely make that this year. One we science? may exploit asteroids yeah. to do it. That's an asteroid waiting to be. Uh, we're going to colonize this planet next year. I think this is fine. I think we skip to the year and then we do all of our sciencey stuff next year. Do we... Linking it all up. Yeah, I guess we only get we one are gonna... science by doing it now. Yeah. I, 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 would I even... think that eight money is worth it, to be honest. If, Honestly, if... I would kill the lab. The lab is costing yes. us a huge chunk of cash. So, like, go back. Don't put the lab down. The You're only reason that I wanted again. to keep... The only reason that I didn't want to trash the lab <laughs> was because I know that it's going to be tough to find the, the placement again. All right. I'll tell you what, export so that, there... that water also down to the uh, to the mineral. Let's just try and increase our income for the next year. Like, do anything that increases our income, then set everything down on the new year. Yeah. I think that's a great shout. I think, is that it? Even scouting so I think we can... a little could be good. Yeah, I mean... We just need to get this. Like, we just need to get this lab down next year. To be honest, that's the the limiting factor right now. I think. Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting thought. Uh, just test it for me. Earth, Earth, like make people, people yep. into both of those people places. What does that do for our income? Which people places? Oh yeah, that one. Forty three. So that's more. Sorry. Can can you double retract that and then start it again? Sorry, because I didn't get the base without it being colon. Okay, so it's 42. Then you do that and then put it into the two planets. Oh, or I guess one it's planet. It's now 43. Well, so now the beauty is we can exploit that asteroid because we have all three planets colonized, yep. which will net us 18 money. And uses up time. Yeah, okay, yeah. very cool. And can we can it. make the connection from the Earth-like to the mineral, which will give us another successful planet and increase our income further. Um, I'm not sure that's the right play if we want to well, no, put Jean, that over there. We, Hang on. Yeah, actually, sorry, I think Orbital's right, right? Because we, we need three people coming out of that plant, because one of the people is going to end up going into the lab as well. Um, we don't know. We don't know if there's wheat up here. If there is, all good. We can always connect right, well, this do up. Do the scan then. We have We have two months, so do a scan up there. Hit the five banger. If it's and wheat, if there is then we're good. Oh, that is wheat. It is wheat, uh, but it's still mm, not good. It's miles away. I mean, that connection is going to cut. That's 14. That's 14 buckaroos. It passes the problem of line down as well, because then we suddenly have to find a way to get a robot up there. How much? I mean, there's a few planets up here. Nothing that really, nothing that really pops. Yeah, but if we want, I'm just also, conscious of the fact we need research. There's like also a, ASAP. Yeah, there's also a beacon there. And if we yeah. if we get a person into that beacon, there's a reasonable chance that it'll be a um a robot, right? You often get robots from beacons. Yeah, and I I actually think I've been kind of like keeping a keeping a note of I don't want to connect them because otherwise that stops time or whatever. Uh, but there's a connection there, there's a connection there that can happen, and then there's a connection here that can happen. And I'm just sort of trying not to block out the the route between a people planet and the forebear ruins before actually using it. So I think we'll be fine. Should we get the lab then? Should we uh, skip the skip the year, go lab? And I'll then, say uh, we're only thing. skipping a month. About about yeah. getting robots from uh, the forebear ruins, I'm pretty sure that would come from your Sylph adoptions, and we took Bakar and mm -hmm. Tori. Good shout. Excellent, excellent shout, reps. That's, However... Uh, by the time we get this lab down this year and move on to next year, we get new missions. Yeah. So yeah. we'll be able to pog out with new missions. Okay, does this work? Yeah. Oh, look, at that. Well done. look at that. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. Okay. So it works. Almost a full year. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay. Income you is make, still fine. Make That's, sure this okay. is what you want before you look at the new missions. Otherwise, we can't rewind. I think it is. I think it is too. Um, I just there's no root for growth here, unfortunately. Like this lab is going to be stuck at three forever. That's kind of fine. Are... Not tr not true. Not true. When we get infra space, we'll be able to take a water from the mm -hmm. southernmost robot 
into biomass and water factory and run it up to the lab. Um, or even just a normal relay will do the job there. Oh, that's like, a shame. Um, yeah. So there's there's a source of water there. Um, and we'll probably have another colony up north at some point. So Yeah. So now just if we solve the if we solve the, the wheat conundrum, sounds like a, a good murder mystery type mm, of event. Yeah, it really does. We solve the wheat conundrum, we get an extra person, we pop it in there, we get more stuff, we pop them in there, we all good, right? Like that's the Okay, all right. That's, let's uh, that's our most let's obvious mission. progression path right now. Oh, okay. Um, that is very challenging, but loads of science. It is challenging, I mean, but we also want to focus on science right now. So right. is it maybe yeah. something we should do anyway? So I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I We haven't found a place where we're going to be able to do that. My thought is we take the other two missions. Getting a Forge World to successful is pretty easy. Yes. Um, we can do that. And we will discover 15 planets looking for, a, like, expansion opportunities pretty quickly. Uh, this, so, yeah. This will be successful as soon as we... Chip that. Yeah, as soon as we chip this with a nanotech. I just... I. Part of me is with Rhapsody, honestly. Establishing a lab, studying studying chips, get it to five science. I, I kind of feel like that... I, I know it is a little bit slow, but I feel like it really kind of forces us down the so science route. The, the question is, right, how quickly can we do that mission? We're probably looking at three or four years between scanning, setting up all of the production lines, yeah. feeding them into a lab, right? In a year, yeah. maybe two, we can do both of those other missions and re-roll that mission into something that's potentially easier than a five science chip lab. That's my thought. I yeah, I actually, upon further reflection, think that you're you're right, unfortunately. Okay. I'm I'm happy to relent on this. I mean, I think that we we pick up the this one next time for sure. Like regardless of the content because oh, yeah. it gets us so much science like it's, next it, time we do missions it's it's the valatory or whatever it's, it's going to be annoying if the Vittori want us to get like biomass or something like that but we'll see yeah I think this is I think this is fine I think this is okay all right do we do we just want to oh what's the what's the play here we what skip to the end of the next year get the get the chip set up sorted finish that mission off, then look for wheat up here somewhere? So, we can't do chips into Forge World this year, because we don't have enough money. But we do have ten money, so we can start scanning for extra planets to finish this year out, rather than skipping. Yeah. Let's do... Let's. What about it? What about over here? This this area uh, seems kind of... It's, it's pretty... It, it's kind of dense, but we're not really operating there at the moment. Whereas in the bottom right, we're True. about to introduce a uh, a lack of ore. I think you can get a fire banger if you focus on the middle one there. Oh, no. I think you're, you're right. just out. Yeah. Just out. I mean, I think maybe it's this and then this. Yeah, like those two. I agree. Okay. That sorts Ooh. it. If that connection can be... No, okay, all right. I mean, we're maxed out on humans anyway, so it's not even a big deal, but... Uh... All right, what's south? Uh, possible. Whoa. Hang on. Uh, that, that... So that, that remnant world to the north that is outputting a robot and needs water? Sorry, the one that we have? Yeah. Can you look at it? What about it? The remnant world. Oh, the remnant world, sorry, yeah. The one that we have. The other one. Oh, that's... <laughs> just repeat okay, it cool. another time. I might one eventually import, get there. One export, one water. If that trades with a thawing facility on the Arctic planet we just discovered, it pops successful, and therefore the one above it props prosperous. Very good observation. Alternatively, we're going to be getting prosperous over here anyway as soon as we chip it. All right. So it's going to pop <laughs> prosperous anyway. Fair point. Uh, it's also a two-way trade. 
it's it, like super valuable super valuable I, I agree i was just thinking that maybe we're better suited to getting a colony here because if we do that then we get a scrapping operation which supplies our chips over yonder and then we have to um, find a way to fund that colony though yeah i was initially thinking oh biomass can just come down from from jungle world but we're going to be intersecting that with a with a slipway here so yeah i mean I, yeah the, we skip this year. We're in December anyway. It's fine. I would skip. I would throw year. another scan out. Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't waste the month. I would look for a, you know, three or a four banger up there. There's a pixel on, in it. Really? I believe I, in you. There's a pixel. There I it is. He, yes. Nice. It's terrible, but yeah, it, it's there. The result doesn't have to matter. The fact that you did it is good enough. That's true. And we found two planets, which is good. Yeah. I mean, one of them doesn't really count as a planet, because it's just... Yet. Useless. Yet. That's true. Never say never. All right, so, nanotech, chip this, solve the mission, happy days, prosperous, as you say, wraps, mm -hmm. just through different means. There's no way... Yeah, it's literally only this remnant world that I think can supply ore, that which feels is a big real shame. Bad. You're closing that whole area yeah. in right now. I know. I, I really don't want to do it, actually. I, I, I think you leave that floating I think just, for the moment. I agree, actually, hard. So I think we we plan on feeding that chip later on with the minerals above it using infraspace. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Um, so we just wear that happiness penalty for now and accept that that is currently a shortcoming and we deal with it later on. Okay. We have we have one last planet, by the way, before we need to think about uh, Empire size and torpedoing our finances again. I mean, we've got level one vittori we've got level one slithid is there any reason why we shouldn't take at least a single forebear ruin just to sort of check it out maybe this one so, over here let's do it yeah i would i would probably look at the two that we have available um pretty early on because they could be something real juicy like an energy i mean that doesn't really help us, but this probably does. 52 cash is pretty significant, I feel. What's the um the planet to the north that's currently being covered by the dialog box? The it is that are just people, right? Just people. I mean, it will change, I believe. If we if we finish these missions, we can come back to it later and get a level two uh get a level two uh warehouse facility stuff. Mm -hmm. If we complete missions, it'll get better. That's energy. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take fifty-two money. I would wait and see, because maybe we need a mineral or chip input for uh, a lab or a planet on that side that we expand into. So that that mineral input could go to the Forge World to the south and save us a whole. Yeah, uh, actually, no, there's a fort. Never mind. Never mind. That there. <laughs> Or do you mean? Or do you mean this one? Yeah, no, no, no. Here. I, I, I was somehow bypassing the mineral that you just looked at, and it would have been the mineral from the forebear ruins. So I just realized halfway through the statement how daft that is. It's it's so funny how your brain sort of like beelines uh, the royal you, by the way. The, the you know the, your brain sometimes beelines on this idea, and you're just like, okay, it must work. Yeah, must work. I must make it fit, and then you realize how absurd it is. There is a um an interesting thing here where if we do get the mineral and chip there, we can use the spare mineral from that mineral planet plus the mineral from the beacon plus a person to get another three science lab down pretty yeah. quickly. That's that's what I was Ooh. Right, like that's <laughs> something that we could do next year. I, I think the play right now is see if we can do scans to the degree of discovering seven new planets or maths? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Nine. It's, nine new planets. Nine new planets. That's a toughie, um, there actually. Is, there is one thing that I would potentially consider. Mm -hmm. And that is um, the ocean world to the far north. Turn it into a wheat producer and make the connection to the people planet. 
Um, will we have enough money? Will we? Won't we? We won't. Uh, we won't. We won't. But there, there is an asteroid right. down south that is a duo. There's, there's DOS duos. Yeah, that that right one will probably crack after we have like the Remnant World and the. Mm -hmm. The left uh, one, I mean, like, two of its connections are a desert and an ice ball. The other connection is an earth world, which is nice, but we may not colonize that for a while. Yeah. yeah. Right, so that'll get us an extra five income and I... uh, Can... and a person for a forebear ruin. I'm not actually sure that's worth it. I I will say, I like that a lot. Like, I do, I really like that connection. The problem that I'm having now is that we are right up against our our limit here. And we don't know what's in this area yet. And it could so, be something so juicy. So so being right up against our limit is actually exactly where you want to be. You want to have the highest income you can without crossing the threshold. And I think that's the way we do it. The plus five income there. But I'm open to suggestions. I, I agree. But uh, can you undo two times so we see what the income was without the ocean world? You may also have to go and explore the planet again. So 43 by base. Then take that as the same, the Argy Palm. Cool. Pop the uh, yeah, asteroid. asteroid you have to. It's make 46, I think, yeah. And then also make the connection from that people down to the uh, mineral world. 50. That's perfect. Yeah, so that's I, pretty juicy. I like that right now because we can get another good in there later in order to get the, the person for the lab. And that's still only one research, whereas we really need to focus on our money at the moment. See, I wasn't thinking person to lab. I was thinking person to forebear ruins and hope for goods or energy. It's You can't undo that connection, though. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. It's a bit of a gamble. But if we hit robots, goods, energy, any of those three things... Do you stand by the gamble? Then it'll feed into... <laughs> You're the special guest. Do you stand by the gamble? Because if you stand by the gamble, we should stand by the gamble. Taddies, all of the games that I have played with you on stream, every time I say yeah. a thing is going to be good, it's it it's worked out, hasn't it? Right? Lolash's luck has yet to let me down, Rhapsody. I will say that. It is, you know, it is uncanny, but if this is the time that it does let us down, then we're just passing up on, you know, whatever it is, five cash. You don't it's have so. to convince me. Oh, I'm I'm more than willing to lose on the behalf of just right. uh, giving things to the special guest for the episode. So let's do it. Okay. All right. Make it, All happen. Right. Make it happen. Let's do it. That's double, double energy. energy, baby. That's good. Yeah. So next year we double energy <laughs> and we can feed the energy into goods and robots, and all of our solution, all of our problems up there are solved. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the that's actually oh, the yeah. only thing that would have solved both problems, and it's right yep. there. That's insane. Yep actually yep um i told you reps <sighs> yeah luck you. sack yeah goddamn luck sack <laughs> mate how do you think i got a twenty-two thousand point game <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was your big old friggin brain that's why we brought you on look that was that was a safe gamble there there were like four good options one mm -hmm. bad option and one excellent option so yeah let's start considering these yeah, I, I just sort of realized that we actually had the science. I mean, honestly, quantum sensors is not bad if we're getting continuous missions to explore new planets. Mm. Um, brain machine interface is obviously fantastic. Given well, that we how have... good are our links at the moment? Because if our links are good and we can get a significant chunk of income early from brain machine, it's worth it. Otherwise, it's totally not. Our links are really Mineralized. good, and as soon as we pass one month, Brain Machine Interface can come in. We have one Prosperous, I think we have four successful, and it's not difficult to pop more. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, actually. No, four, yeah, sorry, four successful, one Prosperous, yeah. Very well, popular. Also, that planet that we just hit is about to go Prosperous. Like the, mm. the Earth-like people, because it's about to get goods from energy. Oh, it's about to go successful. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think we hold, we get Brain Machine Interface, and we play the eco game next year, where we just spend all of our money on getting the energy, feeding it into those two things, and Brain Machine Interfacing stuff. 
Love All it. right, so we skip then. We were in December anyway. Energy first. Yes. Yep. I think, right? Yep. Pop that there. Do we need to make this connection now? Yes. What does it, imp what does it improve our income by? It's five, five income. I mean... Do you we really might be not able want to do, do that? We might be able to do something a little bit more effective. I'm just thinking brain machine costs 10. And if we're able to pop two machine learning interfaces, then that probably has a bigger impact, to be Increased honest. Increased by 30% right now is 20. Sorry, 20. Sorry, is uh, two on um, our best planet. Okay, so that's 13. That's nine. I mean, you can hit the button. Planet, sorry. You can see exactly well, what it becomes. Yeah, hit the button. Yeah. Hit the button. Hit the button, then unhit the button. 13 to 17, four. that's four. Okay. So it's worth it. So yeah, it. we it's, would be able to do two of those. I think it's probably... Yeah, so it's this arid colony that's the, the second most valuable, yep. I believe. Okay, and that's another four there as well. So I think that that's... All right. I think that's pretty good. Hear me out. Yeah. I actually want yeah. the money from that and then just right. turbo our economy this year. I agree. Either Probably. that or complete the mission. Well, I mean, we can do both, right? It's because turboing our economy right now is literally two slipstream connections. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you're right. You're, uh, you're so right. Yeah. You know, maybe a couple machine interfaces and those are free in terms of time. Right. Okay. That's good. Uh, so then in continuing down the vein of turboing, we just machine interface every other planet, I think, right? Uh, yeah, yeah pretty starting much. with the most income ones, but yeah. I think they're all. I think they're all nine-ish. Yeah, they're all yeah, nine anyway. Be nine, so right. Uh, apart from that one, of course, which is twelve. Okay, <laughs> I mean that's huge. Yeah, um, just took our income from mid fifties to seventy-seven. Let me let me hit you with an alternative here. I'm gonna undo those two. So I sure. haven't done haven't done machine interface on this place, but I think oh, maybe the play is and... yeah is 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 machine interface here and then just uh, yeah okay. So and machine interface scanning. here and do some scanning with the rest of with the, with our twenty remaining bucks because we I have agree. yeah because we've got nothing else that we really want to do in terms of planet settling, but we have loads of stuff that we want to do in terms of exploration. Okay, so we do that. That we get like ninety percent of the benefit anyway. Yeah. We, so we're just missing machine interfaces on these two planets, I believe. Uh, three. Wow. And is there not one also? Uh, no, because we did this one. I did this one because this, this is a uh, big, oh. big impact. Okay. I think it's. So yeah, each of those must be giving us three when they machine interface them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, from nine to twelve. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, okay. Preferences on where I start scanning. Uh. Top left. Up here, Top yeah, left. yeah, yeah. Lots of density. We've got the furthest point. Is that a sixty? I think you could have hit a sixty then. I don't, I don't think I could have. And uh, that's so depressing, actually. Wow. I thought you were right, Lalash. <laughs> well, we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> Chat. I'm sorry. In the comments, say Ooh, whether or not four, we could have got the sixty here. <laughs> there's a four if you go to the left there instead. Yeah. Okay. One undiscovered in the middle. Uh, and then. Two there. Okay. I mean, okay. this is good. I mean, I think we just find yeah, you... high sources and then see if we just pop a mission. You can't get it's... both of the... Yeah. 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 What What would you, you chaps prefer? These two? These I would two. do both. I would do both. We've got nine money. It's only August. Okay, you do it's there go. just that easy. And another 60 cash. Wowzers. That's beautiful. So we can do the other brain machine interfacing? We can, yeah, if we want to. I, I suspect missions is, is the first port of call. Yes, just in we case. Can't do that. Both are okay. successfuls. Yeah, yeah. You're both accurate. are successfuls. And Ener energy by five units is totally random at the moment. We have no way to make energy deliberately, so never take that mission. Mm-hmm.
Okay, Remnant. So Remnant and Forge Worlds. That's tough. Well, we've actually. got a good cluster. We've got a good cluster on the left. I think we've got two Forge and a Remnant over there, or is it just two Forge? Just two Forge, forge. here. We've also got another Forge to the north there. Um, yeah. Immediately what I'm... That's actually a third Forge there. Hold it, Cam. Uh, okay, this, this is a uh, mineral connection. This is a chip connection. This is a chip connection. Uh, we need to find a spare person somewhere. <laughs> Are we going to be I'm thinking chips? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm trying to That's repay the chip dividend. Um, uh, we can absolutely do that if we colonize the Arctic to the south and make the Earth like produce food or biomass. Hold up. Let me um. Let me see what we got over here. You know what? There's got to be something that produces people over in this vicinity, right? Yeah, probably. There's got to be. There's got to be. There's got to be. Maybe. Uh, I do, think the do play the is... interfacing because it's yes. free. Yeah. yeah, interfacing and then and then skip and then set everything. We skip? Because if we colonize, then we're gonna level up and we're gonna destroy our income by like twenty. Yeah, but there's got to be other things that we can do, like, uh, um, I don't know, <laughs> some edge, well, it's like some edge scanning, right? Like, there's that one blip on the northwest that's sitting in the middle of our, like, explored area. West is yeah. the other side, that is. Like, I mean, just, yeah. this is the kind of north, but, yeah, that you mean this northwest. one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I mean. It's like well, well, it's like north, 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 northwest. But yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll concede. I'll concede it's a little west. Uh, are all of our things machine interface now? I believe so. I do not believe that there is any place that is unmachined. Yeah, Perfect. every place is machined. Especially in that northernmost cluster. Could you take some looks in because we may be like one export or one successful adjacency away on a couple of those from popping prosperous. Yeah, what um, what do you want to look at? Uh, either of those two successfuls in the north. So this is imports, one exports. adjacency and one export or import. Okay. Uh, is the that possible? I don't think that's possible. That would and have then the to other one like research water to do it. Just two successful uh, just successful. It's not too hard to get two successful adjacencies there actually. Yeah, we'll we'll get it. I think. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, we can do, we can do some scanning. We can do uh, some scanning out to the right here, or we can. Ah, we'll pop this one. Yeah. I. Ah, what a terrible decision. <laughs> Just get what it off a terrible the map. Decision. Right? Yeah. It, um, it, you can't build through it anyway. It's obstructed. Look, there. For me, the most valuable resource in this game is time right mm -hmm. if we can do something that doesn't tank our income that uses time we should do that thing so i would scan on the right hand side of our empire i would look for any place where i can get two or three planets and i would just try and clear out some of those signatures they're low likelihood but who knows we could hit a super juicy planet over there all right Tis done. We also, could hit a super juicy out, planet over there. Mm -hmm. uh, look, Sorry. That space is super dead. Yeah. Yep. Like deader than I've ever seen in a game. We can't they expand made a game. in that direction. What are you talking about? They made a whole game about it. <laughs> That's Starring a trilogy, Isaac, actually. That's a ancient callback now. Jeez. Oh god, don't don't call it ancient. I'm already feeling old. <laughs> I mean we got a. I think. I think chip chip play is is good um, over here, potentially, but without a person. Actually, so, yeah, we have a person here. Yeah. So my thought was, um, it's minerals into chips anyway, right? So I would go person into the top mineral world. And then I would make chips in both of those forge worlds because that's an easy input. 
right? Yep. And then we look for a colony that requires chips. Mm. Let's over on that side. I mm, so we mm. might do that, but before you make either of those into chip worlds, start looking at some of the adjacencies. Because if none of the adjacencies take chips, suddenly we're extremely sad. Yeah, yeah let me. For sure. I can do. Uh... Yeah, That's I can do definitely exploration. A world. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, also, before you do that, yep. check the forebear. That's the, uh, the, dead. Do you mean oh, the we other took one? money on it, right. Yeah, we took yeah, money we on cashed money. that check. And apparently, we're already we're out peopled out. Uh, in fact, hold on, we might have skill up. We don't have skill up. All we right. do have time dilation, which is an insane tech. Actually, let's yeah, let's if take a moment to look at yeah. our techs, right? What are we aiming for? I mean, level one, there's mineral seeding, which is probably the best. I guess Guarantees that really depends on what we want to get in the higher levels, because mineral seeding I'm happy with if we're going for micro labs. So if we're going extreme miniaturization afterwards, I'm happy with it. Yeah, fair comment. We also have uh, flexible fab. It's okay. Plasma oh containment. That's yeah, actually structure. very pog up here. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got? And we have the structure build time reduction, which is really, really nice. Quantum computing. Um, I don't know how early you have to get that pretty good. Now. It is good. Wait, it is good? Yeah. If All you right. take quantum computing, so... By the time you're getting tier two techs, you should probably have two, three science labs set up, mm -hmm. right? So quantum computing is 66% more science per year um, for the rest of the game. That's a lot of bonus science. It is, but I, it's like how many years tech. does it have to be up? So if you only end up with two or let's be generous, say three labs, right? It has to be up for five years before you're making a positive on that. If you've only got two labs, it has to be up for 13 years. Let's get three labs. All right. It's just that simple. We Build are, more labs. We are, we are going to want some more labs. But right now, we want to focus on trying to get our missions done, which means we want to scan over that side. Ugh. There. That's, that's it. That's juicy. Yeah, the water is good, but also... Ugh, in terms of nothing else popping despite likelihoods. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I can get a, a two-banger and a three-banger there. Yeah, two and three. Is, yeah, I get That's good, too? Oh, for... Very good. Oh, uh, I, uh, it's, it's okay. It happens. I really it dislike happens. that element of... You shouldn't have to play a little minigame every time you want to scan. Just give me the max range, they, please. So I, I have it on good authority, as in from the only developer of the game, that there will be a toggle option that turns oh, off the pulsing. Thank, thank you. Goodness. Or You know what? Leave the pulsing on, but just like leave it at max size. Like Just always scan the max size anyway. Yeah. Like Thank you, Jakob. Why Jakob. does it adjust? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Jakob. Uh, all right. So this there is, is a remnant is, wall there. There's triple chip. Yeah. It is a triple chip. Colony here. Uh, so I would be very tempted to colony the ocean world. We will do that um, as well, I think. But I, I do like the triple chip and colony to the south as well. So the reason I say colony the ocean world, especially first, is you get the import-export line yep. to the mineral world. Um, okay. They need minerals, right? And they yeah. export people. Yeah. Um, which is the best way to get bonus income for six your income time. Positive. Just in case you six income and six, uh, six, six cash curve for connecting the ore line for the Bakar perk. So this is nice. Yep. It's okay. So that's choosing. And then uh, there's not a lot more we can do this year, but next year we can probably get food from the jungle world to put in there to get an extra person put a person into the remnant world for chips, put a mineral into the forge world for chips, and then set up a chip lab. we get another order to the north, 
We have the ability to... Like, actually, the water could be from the Primordial. We just need a new person in the Primordial. Yeah. Oh, that's that's out of range. We'd have to get a person from something else. But that uh, person that's gives us possible. the extra water. The water then goes into the mineral planet, giving us an extra ore. Those two ore can go into both of the forge worlds. We can set up a lab. I I don't like the, uh, the ocean world play here. And I'll tell really? you the reason why. Okay. Yeah. I like I like this colony here. Assuming that we can get a source of water and wheat, which is ridiculous, but bear with, bear with here, right? Mm -hmm. So we have chip facility. I'm not going to bother doing this. Chip facility, chip facility, no, chip do, facility. Do, do it. I think it's useful for the viewers. You want to? Okay. All right. Nanotech, nanotech, recycling, mm -hmm. and then the lab goes in over here or thereabouts, right? Boom, boom boom connect up uh then that leaves open the the idea of a forebear ruin as well which is kind of pog and it immediately gives us everything and in fact to be honest we could still take the ocean world and still get yeah, that see, connected up see i i prefer the ocean world here it's the exact same plan except that the ocean world has one half of its inputs already filled we have the double like import export line and we have a guaranteed source of food next to the ocean world there's no gambling involved it's the exact same plan but mr. we're not hoping the, for a water or a food mr i'm gambling on a four barrel ruin but i won't gamble on a simple little 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 bit of what, water a simple, what a simple double resource input world <laughs> yeah we know that when lolash gambles he wins so if exactly. he doesn't yeah. want to gamble on it it's not a good choice frankly I, I, I agree with Lolash as well, although I will say, Lolash, you were overlooking the, the four bear ruin connection is also, I think, something that Orbital was valuing a lot there. Yeah. Yeah, the four, I, the yeah. four bear ruin is, is juicy, for sure, but I think the most important thing out of this is the triple chip lab and not destroying our income. And, yeah. yeah. Okay, so where do you want where do you want the lab to go? I mean, it still goes in the same spot, basically. Just below. Right here? Yeah. In, yeah, down there somewhere. That's very stupid. Um, uh, Send out a scout to get I, to the new year, I think. I think you're right. Yeah, it's just a scan. Like Ooh, scan okay. Well. Do we actually want to take a tech? Because I feel like we're stagnating on tech here a little bit. Either we're doing mineral seeding and then later extreme miniaturization, or we take quantum sensors and go to the next one, in my opinion. That's I I think mineral seeding actually I like that I like that play a lot, for me personally anyway. I, yeah, I'm. It's a mineral guaranteed seeding. mineral lab, right? At some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, have you I, played I'm, much with the micro labs? I have. I had one game where I played with micro labs, and I found them to be slightly less useful than I was hoping for them to be. <laughs> um. <laughs> Because by the time I was in a position where I could like spend all of the money to set up all of the connections, I was already teched up to the point where I had like infra space and was just running all the lines, you know, through infra space instead. Yeah. The uh, microforge and the power grid option is broken. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Legitimately <laughs> broken. Uh, don't, is don't there that any way that I can get... Jakob might watch. I don't want to know. Yes. It's, it's not broken. It's completely, completely Although, fine. I think both of us titled our episodes on that, like, energy exploit question mark. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> is, is there any way that I can get anything here before the end of the year? So some somewhere colonized and somewhere built that would contribute to science. I don't think there's anything. Mm, well, I mean, well, you could. Yeah, you could you do have... the Forge World to the south, yes. or the Remnant World to chips. Right, they don't have, don't think... have the ability to feed that in. The Remnant World for the chips yeah. is going to be a problem in the position of the current planet uh, thing. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's the only way you do it. I think that's okay, actually. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. That 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 works out not too badly. And that's three science. Okay, um, should we pop mineral? I want to do it, yes. How valuable actually is gravitic mining? One asteroid. Our economy is pretty solid, to be honest. It is at the moment. But um, 
I know you've not played on tough much, Lolash. So you, you know. Uh, hey, hey, hey. When you when you grow up, you might, you know, you might. Yeah. <laughs> our our economy is pretty solid. One off money from gravitic mining is more of a thing where if you go early tech and have lots of asteroids. Here, it's no use. I would I, I go agree. See I I agree. Okay. Uh, right. So last one, nanotech facility, boom, and then. Yeah. We could just bring it across yeah. from there, I guess. Alternatively, we could wait until we have enough cash to, or have enough uh, water from here to. We can, no, but that's another across. person up there, which means another colony up there, which means another two inputs almost certainly. So it's like, it's. Yeah, I I agree. So much to accomplish, nothing, you know. All right, so could get wheat from could get wheat from either the primordial or the jungle here. Could I persuade you to throw out the uh, scout to that three bang to the south? Of course. Oh, it's some mineral world <laughs> at some point. Uh, so Ooh. it is. Actually, a good point. We should maybe think about immediately plopping down a mineral lab if we can find somewhere that's suitable. That's a double mineral with an additional person that we're definitely going to get. Uh, but I mean, yeah, we need the person for the remnant world. Um, yeah. Nowhere that's so really suitable for mineral. My focus, my focus right here is almost certainly on how do we convert the uh the remnant worlds and forge worlds down here into successful mm -hmm. because they're our missions at the moment right so we need to seriously think about that and i hate to say it but it may be that we need a second chip lab um for outputs don't even say oh. it oh i mean you're That's right but also don't even say it oh We'd still need a person there, right? Otherwise, they're not going to take the actual mineral. Never mind; they actually take the mineral regardless. It it counts, but we it. still need we still need an import. I mean, this can be sorted by eventually this connection, right? Like that's a connection that will eventually happen at some point, probably, yep. maybe. Although, if we uh oh god no, but we'd be hanging a person in the middle. I mean, look, microforges, when they come, can satisfy the export. I'm trying to think how... That's what I'm thinking, right? The microforges yeah. are the... the, the... We're, we're two. Two years from that. But wait, the microforges can't take the chips, can they? That's a wonderful, Is... wonderful point. Isn't it like the second level of them that can take chips or something? I think you might be right, actually. Chips into goods for Universal second level. Universal miniaturization. I'm... I, I was about to Google that, but I was like, you know what? This game is not released in the public yet. There's not going to be a wiki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, hear me out here. Mm -hmm. Colony. Yeah. Colony here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It's going to take a while, while find... Hold on. <laughs> if, if we can... It's yes, it's a dangerous pastime. Um, if we can, if we can look to find, if we can get another science lab down, maybe not necessarily this year, but by the end of next year, that would, I mean, that would be incredible. Mm -hmm. If we could find another place for a, a science lab, maybe even like up here or something. Like, what about just a colony out of nowhere? Mineral, mineral, chip. Yeah, you know, we haven't looked up here in a while. Let's yeah, like this. this. Hold on. This actually works. So we mineralize mineral person person chip for the colony. Okay. Arctic farm maybe or have a little explore to see if we can find some other source of wheat for this colony here. And then that gets us a three banger lab to study minerals. It's do not wanna, brilliant. Do you want to do you want to colonize that swamp so we can see its adjacencies? Oh. That's garbage. Ooh. That side mm. of the galaxy is dead. I think Thanos snapped yeah. it halfway down the middle instead of just doing it randomly, you know? Is that a okay. reference that flies with the kids? I still don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's is relevant. That, 
Rhapsody. Is that Than Thanos, Thanos like from the comics? <laughs> yeah, Thanos from the comics who's in love with Death. Lady Death, who uh, <laughs> Deadpool's also in love with. I read the comics. Let me... Okay, next... Next... Next harebrained scheme here. Mm -hmm. Mineralize. Okay, let's see what's up here, actually. Hey, that's a little bit more positive. Maybe we find another colony up here. Mineral, mineral, mineral. Science lab. Find a colony. Profit. Win the game. Score loads of science. I put it this way. I think we need another science lab. Where we put it is is up for discussion. I, I think what we're really looking for right now is like a two to three year project. And that to me looks like a four year project and not have any struggling planets. Because the two to three year project takes us to slipstream or extreme miniaturization. And then we focus on the core system we currently have for a while. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think, I so think my, you're right. Yeah. My big thing is still Forge Worlds and Remnants to successful. Um, and, and it's, it's, look, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be tricky. Uh, Ooh. let me, Ooh. let me hit you colony here. Yep. Wheat from up here as ever. Yep. Damn the consequences, uh, biomass to be found at a later date mm -hmm. supplies wheat to here and here means that we can get a chip output from this remnant world. Basically almost successful is it. If the, we can find water. The second wheat will only be exported by the monoculture farm if you actually get its input for the um for the biomass. Yeah. But I mean there, you know, there's probably uh colonize it. Let me see. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, there's plenty of plenty I'm, of goodness there. I'm not I'm not hating that. We gotta take a risk, whether it's on this side, whether it's on this side, we gotta I mean we've we've done a pretty good job of exploiting pretty much everything that's here. I will okay. say. I think I, I really think we want to focus on that southwest side. I think we want to try and get those remnants and forge worlds to pop to successful if we can get it. And uh, so that way we can complete our missions and also boost our economy. I mean, let's do the easy thing. So we can at least explore a Have bit down here. Have you already got that primordial colonized or did you he go has, back? He undid it. I, I undid everything. Okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay. So if there's anything that takes chips here, we're... Okay. There is a colony that takes chips here. Which will successful this once we get the mineral input. And then we can get people into robots and robots into the Arctic farm to get water. And then water into the mineral world to get that successful. I think there's a better way of doing that. Um, what's going to be using the second yeah. water? I like it, but what's going to use the second? Uh, with infraspace, the water feeds up to the mineral worlds just above our forge world that needs an input. Mineral world just above your forge world. Oh, I mean, right, right. I see it. I see it. Hmm. Right, you can just run an infraspace relay up there. It's one one extra connection. Really hate all of these. Can can you just make the the, the four connection at the moment, just so we can just have a look at it? Yeah, I can I can do it. Uh, so this. Is that it? And yeah. and the water goes and over to the mineral. Prosperous, prosperous, is prosperous is loading on wheat. And it but doesn't... there are quite a lot of signatures hmm. down there. Yeah, you're not wrong. We could we could mineralize, colonize, and then into here, and that would sort it out, but we would be missing a person. Alternatively, mineralize here. Yeah, or so you up definitely there. mineralize you definitely mineralize the bottom side, and then you would probably colony the arid or something. I hate that. That's so sad. We're now large, officially. Damn. Okay, so I mean, we exploit here. We can still undo all of this. Successful that. Um. Arius is fine? Tanked hard. Not just from becoming large as well. 
Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of infrastructure Before for basically do... one successful. Yeah. Could you undo all of that? I'm not saying we're not doing it, but I I want to see your your plans for the the leftmost. Right. If you set up your uh yeah the colony there that you wanted. And then the primordial. And then Assuming obviously you have that like biomass. We just need a, a biomass up there. I just like that a lot more. It well, actually, in saying that, there's problems here too because we need water to to yonder, and we have no game plan for how to get water over there. We can get water I mean, from we... the earth, like. Mm -hmm. Water from the earth, like. Oh, yeah. Is that... I just assumed that that wouldn't be um, possible. Okay, I mean, that is actually... That's good, I think. It also doesn't pop us into large, which is kind of nice, because we can obviously make these connections all... all work a little bit better. But again, it still only gets us one remnant. Uh, one remnant successful. It only gets us one remnant, yeah. but our income is 62, not 40. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is very true. And also, and, yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, I was One just going to say, say something. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, it's going to take some serious infrastructure investments to get the Forge Worlds and Remnants to successful, but getting them to successful will help create a prosperous center in the long run and also gets us our mission completes. And what are the rewards for our two mission completes? Is it a chunk of money or science or what? I think it's... Yeah, so 14 science total, if we can get those yeah. two missions done. Yeah. Mm. I Yeah, I like this. I like this plan. Okay, are we sticking with... Yeah, I, I what like this What is apparently one... my plan? So I, I like this one especially because as soon as that northern one gets biomass, it solves our problems, right? Because that exports the extra wheat, the wheat goes there, we're done. Yeah, also means asteroids. We can take a couple, actually, I think, here. Yeah, mm. two, th three-ish. So the, is it the Vittori who want the remnant worlds or the Silthid? Who yes. Yeah. So, okay, the Vittori want Vittori. the remnant. I think we just get a remnant, like we focus on getting the remnant up next because then we pop the plus eight. Science, that is. Hold up. This is a totally doable mm -hmm. just thing over here. There. What do you need? Yeah, just throw another bot in there. I mean, there's a bot here. We need an output for biomass. Arctic farm. Then that trades there. That goes in here. It's an excellent asteroid, too. Mm, yeah. I don't dislike it. I, 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 I the opposite of dislike it even. I, I don't know. If yeah, I accidentally, I, I accidentally uh, did something which was I think probably pretty good that we should have maybe done a little bit earlier actually. Uh, now that I think about it, I, I kind of don't want to undo honest, any of that. I didn't see the the Arctic connection working in here. I was trying to figure out a way to get an extra bot in there, but I didn't. I didn't see this. Well done. And look at the science. Look, we are. We're pogged, as they say. We're stunned. All right. Okay, so hear me out. Yeah. As much as I really want to get um, Slipstream Relays to work towards Infraspace in the late mm -hmm. game, because I think that's going to be integral to us getting a success, uh, prosperous core. Yes. Plasma Containment will give us a lot of boosts right now. We also have cheaper structures. Remember, that was the thing that we took. Mm -hmm. 30% yep. cheaper. Um, so it allows Let's... us to start like really focusing on water and Let's... uh and turning it into energy so i, I want to scout around and see like there's i know there's water up on our top side yeah but nothing really needs to be sorted here so to mm, speak it kind of does so that that's successful in the middle if it has one more export does it not pop prosperous or, sorry, it needs one more export and one more successful adjacency, which the successful adjacency could be made successful using the resources we get from it. Yeah. Although, maybe not. Um, 
No, it absolutely does. If you put a a fusion power plant in the middle of the triangle between the water world, earth like, and mineral. Uh, the earth like, so. Yeah, or it's... that one, okay. by the way. And then that feeds into the mineral world. That would make it successful. No, it needs export. It's kind of a waste. Needs export. It needs export. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you could set up a dodgy mineral lab. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could we could successful this if we did extreme miniaturization. Yeah. Because that would allow export for chips and then chips into somewhere. I, I don't know where, but like, I mean, it doesn't matter really. I mean, if we did slipstream, here. that could just export to the north. and <laughs> That would work too. True. Actually. Very, very true. Yeah. I, that's, mm. that's pretty Slip juicy. Yeah. I got to be honest, more and more I'm becoming convinced that we take the slipstream and then we focus on extreme miniaturization and quantum computing. Oh, sorry, not quantum computing. Definitely not that, in my opinion. Um, that or plasma containment later on. Yeah, so quantum computing is really good if you just build a lab that takes, like, one person, one resource, and that's it for every resource, right? Like, if you have five labs that all do uh like one person one resource then quantum computing is sick but that's not if, the situation we're in yeah if if you can make that work then well done on your economy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i I'm, what do you think orbital i think slipstream i think slipstream is the play here i was just sort of seeing is if there was any connections that we could get through taking flexible fabrication. I was giving it a chance. I, I don't think it's great, but I don't think that there's any... We don't have any robot production. I, I never really think robot production is all that it's cracked up to be. And to be honest, we, we don't need it here, so it's not not a thing. I think Slipstream is the play, um, but it, it pains me greatly because I think if we are going to take a tech, it should be quantum computing because... I do think that we are super, it's super, super possible for us to get a third lab easily. And if we get it right now, then we're off to the races. Well, do me a favor, have a little bit of a poke around and see if there is a place where we can set up a mineral lab with one person, one mineral, and a robot lab with one person, one robot, without having to make huge investments. Right, I don't great... think we have a lot of free people. We don't. That's the problem, actually. I mean, there's a free person. No, not even here. A free person coming from here, for sure. Guaranteed person coming here as soon as we find biomass, etc. That's easy. Um, but this is, of course, nowhere near. Actually, it could be near mineral planets. That's the advantage of mineral seeding. I'm just conscious of the fact that we haven't used mineral seeding at all yet, and it's quite good I'd be more concerned if we hadn't used mineral seeding yet and we did have a ore lab but we don't yet unless yeah, we, we don't. do <laughs> we don't, don't we, we do. don't we definitely we definitely don't we definitely don't I just think it's so possible though I mean all of this I mean there's so many lava planets around and i just i okay i think slipstream is the play here i mean yeah. look we need to prioritize getting these forge worlds poked up so we might as well just like freaking do it yeah i think i think it is the play it's it's sad uh, but it's it's, it's true here's a fun little bit of tech um that we can do you can slipstream relay a chip from the forge world we're looking directly at to the forge world that's successful producing goods to give it an output that there yeah yeah, yeah. locks in that is that gonna make it we don't really care about that too much problem is we also need an, input. Export, yeah. need an input yeah so that would be water to the north or you know making the mineral planet out of the ice planet in the middle but not having a I, I think it. i prefer that connection and then that connection purely because it keeps our size down Sure. Therefore, How do we make the goods income up. for the north one, though, so that we get the extra person? 
maybe. So maybe maybe a I, lot of extra materials. There, there I are must a few confess, things that a I single forgot. slipstream would have fixed, and now we have slipstreams. So let's go and find those things and fix them. I think there yeah. were a couple over the right side of the map. Oh God, we're just, we have a, a, a chronic, a chronic people shortage. Actually, we do we need to try and colonies. get some more colonies set up. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So minerals from that mineral world, uh, near the water lab, up to the food producing planet. Yep. I mean that can yeah that can go up up there yeah mm -hmm. okay. Fine. Um, I mean, actually, is that fine? I actually straight up don't think that's worth it. I got to be real. So 14 to build, right? We start at 47 income. Basically, halves our available cash, increases our income by three. It's nice, but it also takes like three months to build. Look at the adjacent Not, successfuls. Mm. Just the one to the north, I think, because I checked the other one recently. Okay, so it, it gets both of the uh, the ones that you're connecting closer to a successful, which could pop Prosperous on Xiaoyu. That's true. It's very true. What can that uh, ice ball planet, sorry, the Arctic planet to the, uh, to the left of where you're currently indicating do? Uh, that could take the wheat from above it could give us people we would need biomass as an input we can get biomass from there but we could also get it from the south after we get the slipstream relays yeah uh, sorry the I, subspace yeah. slipstream relays i i like that actually you know what and that could be this could be our ore um yeah this could be our ore lab if we are going to do that i would posit that we do quantum computing now rather than slip relay because i mean apart from this connection which i consider very mm. questionable well we don't need that connection value for money if we're if we're going to do a mineral lab there and we're going to put a colony on that arctic world we mineralize the lava planet and its yeah. second order input goes up to the top we don't need slipstream relays mm -hmm. yeah alternatively Maybe we just pick up extreme miniaturization. I mean, what is it actually? It's literally just. Okay, it's, it's just, just that at the chips. moment. But yeah. if you look at the tech upgrade that it unlocked, that's it's level in two. Our level two. It's low level. It makes robots and goods. We would not and have to overload our other things. Like, we'll have it next year. I I hate to sound like a broken record, but I really want universal. Uh, <laughs> uni miniaturization and such i think that's it i i think that's it and i think that we get our lab i think we get our lab uh asap as well okay yeah i can get behind that what's the play here um you're in september so don't do that first what what did we go from 50 to f oh, it was 47 to 47 that's okay actually yeah, but also don't do that yet. Okay, all right. Uh, what's do, uh, what's do a better the, connection? Yeah, the lava planet and then feeding that to the north, right? Because it's 47 to... Oh, we... Oh, because you have to colonize it first. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, There might uh, be there might be something better. You can undo again because it goes back to the... Oh, yeah, It's the seeding yeah. that was the problem there. If we didn't have to seed, it would be better. Yeah, I, th I think this is... I think this is okay. Sure. All right, so that there, turn into mineral, mine, connection, connection. Lab. Lab, connection, connection, connection. Love it. Easy. And then... We're going to bring yeah. the biomass up for that with infraspace, right? Ah, yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's a good point. Yep. A hyperlane would be better at a time like this, but that's okay. No salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, dear. Uh, I mean, I think extreme miniaturization is, is very yes. pog, actually. Yeah. I mean, you don't take the first tech unless you intend to take the second. Agreed. 
And then can we utilize that immediately? Uh, we have one mineral free on the mineral planet up there. Yep. Yeah. Nowhere requires chips or goods in this vicinity, unfortunately, though. Or robots, for that matter. <laughs> or robots, actually, yeah. Because we supplemented both of those with energy. Hold up. Forge worlds. We need to pop these two forge worlds. I mean, and they mm -hmm. we don't even need uh, chips for... We don't even need chips for the universal. Oh, man. No, we just... We need to find a chip output for them. And also yep. an ore input. Yeah, chip output or input. So or input. I mean, we can't get a person in there. Can can we look at some of the other Forge Worlds if we have any other unsuccessful Forge Worlds? I think that's it. Uh, actually, well, no tell a lie. There is one over here. Mineralize. I get. Like, what's the point of mineralizing if we ain't got no uh, no peeps free? Yeah, it just makes that successful instead. Um, can you look at that Earth-like to the south of the Forge Worlds? Uh, other Forge World there. Um, can you hover over Hive World for me? Yeah, that one's a good input. There's the goods to the I north like directly this. of that, right? I I actually like this. Yeah. I think that's... Yeah. There's a good to the north of that. There's wheat to the other side of it. Nothing takes chips. Like literally, nothing takes takes chips here. Yeah, chips are almost exclusively used in the specific colonies, right? Yeah, which is why I always struggle with a chip based lab, unless I've got an energy producing tech like solar or geothermal. But I think Raps is right. I think the south side is the play here. And I think it's colony on the Earth-like. Um, and hopefully find some food below it. Because we don't want to take food from the right-hand side. The reason is we want to mineralize that ice ball. Actually, you can mineralize ah, to the... Slipstream. Mm. Soon. Um, slipstream soon. Slipstream soon. And then you can even cut around it. But you can mineralize the desert planet to the north. Getting yep. the person in there is a little bit harder, but... We're always yeah, going to be so floating we, something. If we mineralize the planet, the ice ball, though, we can put a mineral input into the successful forge world and a mineral input into the unsuccessful forge world. You can also do that with the... Uh, you can only do that with the, uh, the desert to the north if you get an input of a person. Yeah, which is tricky to do, right? Like three relays or infraspace. Yeah, it's infraspace. Okay. I... So here's what I think. I'm going to throw out the Lolash Gamble tactic. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. We colonize the Earth-like, and then we scan the blips below it. I'm sure one of them will produce food. Can I scan? I think it's scanning and then colonizing, to be honest. Do you want I to know do it's the two banger in instead of a five banger? Our income. Oh, It's a free scan, basically, right? Geez, if we right. scan this year. Yeah. You're correct. You're correct. But even if those two aren't food, one of the other three will be. Lolash has spoken. So I would scan those two and then colonize and then scan below them looking for food. It's, hey, look, food. No, it's, it's just that simple. Yeah, it's just yeah, that simple. See? How does he do it? It's magic. So now, now it's colonize, food in, mineralize the ice ball. Okay. Minerals, uh, people over to the minerals, minerals up to the two other locations, goods down. Uh, where are these chips going? So uh, you can put another person, uh, who knows where those chips are going. <laughs> well, that's highly problematic because we need, uh, we need one more export. So uh, you can put a person into that other mineral world if you wanted to to get a successful, which will give us some income. I mean, I, I like it a lot. It does leave robots floating, and I do feel like it's much ado about not very much. Um, 
which, which is a, a, a very rude it, way of saying I don't think it accomplishes as much as we need to in the time frame that we have. It, it leaves robots, but we have literally the ability to make a structure that will take the all from the other side and make that robot. Yeah, robots is easy. Uh, one thing I want to look at is the jungle world, because that's one of the very few places we have that can take a chip from a forge world. Mm -hmm. Can that wait? Hold on. Now. Well, you can with a relay. You can. And we will have that next year. Hold up. That's not going to help us. We I only get one more check in this area. I think we have to go for this loop stream. So. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm really not convinced that this is worth it, to be honest. I, 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 it's nice, the extra income. Can, can you put down the, the miniature micro lab structure between the mineral and the, uh, no, 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 below that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Excellent shit. Now, how do you feel about it? Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's also whoa. a chip yeah. output, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, yeah, I've just yeah, yeah. realized that we have uh, machine brain interfacing that I've completely for <laughs> forgotten about. <laughs> so did we. What are you okay. talking that about? That extra bot anything. can even go over to the uh, Arctic to the other side. Yep. The yeah, that's good. You can come, I guess. Uh, chip output. If we can, if we get no, this we forge world pogged. Input. Yeah, sorry. If we get this, yeah, if we get this forge world and import, then I would feel very good about this. Okay, so hear me out. Mineralize, get the Forge World sorted. Um, Takes we grab time. slip space relays. Yeah, we can, fi we can fix that. And we We're can fix that with infra space in the late game, right? Yes. Yeah. I I mean, you say late game. We have seven years remaining. We do not have an ore lab. At, yeah, at this do. point, with 12 coming in a year oh yeah like, we do have i think the lab, all yeah. lab yeah I, I think like we do we're lab. done setting up labs so slipstream relay we pop this right now yes yeah that's happening a hundred percent okay so and now we it just need 30 yeah 30 three years two. no two years actually and actually even less if we get uh if we get this forge world done before then still two it's still two, but... Okay, so the next plan is one other Forge World to successful. It's yep. really important we get that done so that we can try and squeeze it's, in a couple more missions. It's it Yeah, it's that one, and it's with it's the this one, one to the south that had been previously mentioned as the jungle export, yeah, for. So, so now you need we just... one more ore input. It could be from that ice ball if you really want it to be, but... I was... Yeah. I, I like that connection much more. Yeah. Like I, I don't like the idea of just floating a human here. I, I agree. So we can fix we can fix both of the floating humans, the mineral that we just set up and that mineral with infraspace. There are two humans on the earth like we just colonized. Yeah. That are free. So two infraspace relays fix both of those inputs. And give oh, us two our outputs cash. on our world. Oh yeah. no no no. Fifty two. Yeah. To zero. Oh, wait, are we about to go to XL? Yeah, we're about to yeah. get fast. All right. I here's a play. And I think you both know what it's about to be. Yeah. Skip two years. Skippy, yep. skippy. Yeah. Skip. Oh man. I know. I know. I uh, no. I no. I, you know what? I'm gonna push back on this a little bit. We got do plenty it. of asteroids. We got. <laughs> we do. You know, we got. We got plenty of them. It's it's just we can't colonize another thing before we get to slip space. I agree, us. I agree. My my so my my opposition to your idea. Then? My opposition to the idea was mostly let's take as many asteroids as we can, then skip two years. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they take time. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. There's that super juicy one. Uh, yeah, yeah. the across from there you go. Because we're not getting that forge uh, world anytime soon. All right, Lolash, 
I gotta, I gotta ask, how lucky are you feeling that one of these is gonna be an asteroid, and therefore we're gonna make our money back on a, on a scan? Uh, I'm gonna say no. I don't think it's worth. Ooh. Sad. Very sad. Carrotus. You know, the so, only way honestly, that you keep a reputation like Lolash's of always being correct on those lucky guesses is to use them very sparingly. Yeah. To well, it's not it's not about gambling. It's about it's about uh, making safe bets rather than straight up gambling, right? Mm -hmm. Playing the odds. Well, that's uh, just the kind of person to have invested in Ethereum in 2014. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Unfortunately yeah. not. I wish. <laughs> you know, um, Yeah, so here's, here's my thought. Mm -hmm. Um... We are getting slapped on happiness at the moment as well. Because Actually, we have it's fine. Some... We, got a, we got a roadmap to fix all of our problems. Literally all of them. I, there's not a single problem that we cannot yeah. fix that we've not got a plan for. So, yeah, so what, I'm, what I was going to say was we want to scan around the areas where we need to fix an issue. So like on the top left of our empire, mm. we need to find a place to get biomass and a way to fix that loop, right? To, to clean it oh my god that's annoying. really <laughs> for real <laughs> absolutely true. actually it's literally that's not so possible sad. it's literally no, not it's possible not. Uh, can you hover yeah, over happiness yeah. for just a second to show me how much of it is past shortages three yeah there's literally only three percent of that that we won't be able to clear <laughs> yeah okay i mean sure i guess this one here yeah Ah, yes. A bountiful amount of biomass. Alright, so then you hit the two at the top, and then you hit the two at the bottom as well, and yeah, yeah you just... Ah, yes. A bountiful yes. amount of biomass. Because <laughs> it's all well and good saying we have problems that are easy to fix, but... Uh... What, ah, biomass yes, okay. Next to a bunch of Mechanized... Stuff? Yeah, mineralize, mineralize, human... Fab factory for bots, or even across to the Forge world. Yeah, yeah I agree. But we okay. can't set that up until we've got the science for infraspace. Mm -hmm. So I think we just exploit any asteroids that we can. And uh, yeah, I think Raps is right. I think the only way to play this is to skip to infraspace mastery. I mean, what would it cost if if we were to sort this loop here? I know... All of okay, so we were on, like... Yeah, we were on minus 50. Uh, or we were on 50, right? What did it cost? Literally everything. I'm... I mean, that's still fine, I think. Sure, but it can also be accomplished next year because it's not accomplishing anything we can't. It sorts it sorts happiness, and it's going to take it's like it basically takes a year to develop to develop all of this, right? So it's one year of yeah. not making anything, which I still think is worth because we're we're on a limited time frame here. I might be being too okay. stubborn about the money. I mean, we have uh, we still have plenty. Well, you say we have plenty, but infraspace mastery, the infraspace relays are not cheap. Although they're cheaper for us. So, mm -hmm. yeah, 30%. we take infraspace here and we start fixing resource shortages as a priority and then working as hard as we can towards uh, Actually, prospering worlds. Hold up. If we're going to do this, if we're going to if we're going to stray into the to the vast empire size, is it not worth us immediately finishing the mission so that we can still collect benefit? I mean, shouldn't we just prioritize doing this even if it pops us over the cap? I know that it doesn't give us as much cash, but missions. Yeah. We've been stuck yeah, on this no, for a while. You're right. We do want to try and clear that mission. I think that might have just I think been that's an where asteroid. We were? Yeah. Just I an oh, asteroid. Yeah, of course. That's the one. Um, 
also we don't want to colonize before the end of this year so we we need to we do blow skip two time. more months yeah or we scan but to be honest we don't need to scan anywhere i don't think no i don't think there's anywhere we scan yeah okay so skip that there okay what was the next part of the plan uh this no we oh, mineralize we mineralize in the center there we go uh mineralize this one here uh no mineralize here wasn't it there we go mm -hmm. that's it okay we're on four income bit of a <laughs> bit of a sad but it's okay it's fine it's totally fine okay should we check the missions and actually I would gives us void synthesis if we want it or poggies how many years do we have left Four. five okay so that's five months we buy with times uh with um time dilation but space time yeah. aversion would be way more than five months so i think yeah. we just would wait for the extra resources and do that if we were going to do that but i think we do infra, infra space mastery 100 percent. so i I actually think space time aversion then into infra space mastery maybe. Ooh. I mean, we get it next year with the income that we have. So yeah, I'm just trying to work out the math in my head. We can have both before the end of the game. Uh, I mean, how, look, we, how much are we, we going to be doing? We can sort this right, and we don't need a single infra space for it, and that's going to take a year anyway. Yes. Right. True. So it's really just a question of can we solve the rest of our resource shortages with infraspace within four and a bit years or three and a bit years if you take into account waiting for space time. I, I think we've got the horse before the cart here a little bit. Have a have a second. If this is what we want, we need to then check the missions and see if we can work those in around the borders if they push us in one direction or the other. I think Agreed. this is what we I, want. I mean. We check them. I think we check the missions now. I think yeah. that's the play. We're, we're going to struggle economically for our last few years. Yep. That's my main concern at the moment. Although I will say, I mean, like, this is something I made as a, as a point in the, the kind of like money printing episode that Orbital and I did. If at the very end of the game, you have no income and no money and you just hit that, then congratulations, you perfectly exploited your income. Yeah. Yeah, problem I mean, is we're not going to be in that position. We have a bunch of relays and slipways we want to build, and we're not going to have an income to do it with. We do have a forebear ruin that we can connect up here. Like, that is a good source of money. Usually, I will say. Theoretically, yeah. But, I mean, look, I'm look. we're playing with Lolash Rhapsody, so, you know, give his luck a little bit more uh, respect, please. You're right. <laughs> Well, that's uh, also right. oh, it just God. has sixes on all sides. Look, I'm concerned we're going to have a weak finish here. And I don't think there's anything that we can do about it. I think our empire just hit this really awkward spot where it crossed into vast slightly too early. Um, I don't think I don't think we even hit fast. I don't think we've hit vast in the previous two episodes that we did on tough. At least not that I can recall raps. I don't believe so. No, I, I think we yeah, check so, missions here. That's that's. I, I, I think that's what we do. Yeah. I will say, if we did this, uh, check the missions. Go for it. Um, but uh, I think if we did this a thousand times, uh, nine hundred ninety nine of the other times, having seen how this played out, I would have just hit the machine infrastructure on every single thing as soon as it came up. Just oh yeah, we did. Money we're we did miss that. We did miss that. There's probably a significant chunk of money we left on the table because we, we forgot about it for like 10 years. I, I mean, think, uh, to be fair. No, I forgot about it fair, as well. I, we all forgot about it. No, it's, yeah, I'm not pointing a finger. No, no, no. I, I'm just sort of thinking like there are a couple of planets that don't have it that are making good money. But not not many actually. Like I, I, there may be there. There is definitely like money on the table here, but I mean, it's probably not as much as. The thing is, so the thing is, if you if you 
say that it gets you three money, right? On on average, let's say it gives you like three point three money on average. So in three years, machine interfacing pays for itself, right? If we had hit every one of these planets as they had turned successful, we've probably left like three or four hundred credits by the time, you know, 15 years have passed between the 10 successful planets or whatever. Uh, yeah, we've probably left like 300, 400 money on the table. That is a lot of infraspace lanes, which is a lot of prosperity, which is a lot of score. I agree. Um, However, you are disregarding the opportunity cost of time that it takes to, you know, bring forward that payment on the specific brain machine interface planet. Eh, it's only three years for it to pay for itself and then it starts making money. Hey, you make but, a good uh, point. Missions. But yeah, I, so. Two, two new techs is a given. Yeah. We are absolutely 100% doing that. I don't think we do either of the other ones. I think... I think you're right. Yeah, there's no way we get eight chips or ten minerals, right? Not without I mean, focusing on them in a way that would leave us without the ability at, to wait, fix the rest. Sorry? Hold up. I mean, let me think about it. We are going to be getting... A second mineral here. Mm -hmm. We're going to be getting a second mineral there, a second mineral there anyway. Okay. Eight more minerals. We're not... <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, we have a roadmap to get... We have a roadmap to get this sorted. Nine. Sorry, uh, nine. I'm just getting... Yeah, I'm deducting a, a mineral for that. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, if we get the we, person we just don't have the struggling time. planet there... Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't... I do, it's, it's, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I think this is new text only. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I'm an optimist. I, I sincerely think that we could make this happen. I look, Taddies, you're right. If all we did was try to make that happen, we could make it happen. But we would maybe we could maybe make it happen would we but... get more score by making that happen or by fixing all of the unhappiness that is currently giving us two-thirds of our end score i think we yeah. can do both i think we can we do can't. both. really we I... absolutely can't. yes no. i do no i i'm no, i'm there's inclined no way. like it, the the fact that he is standing so well by it i'm inclined to let him try and to try and help him as best <laughs> as I can. Uh, and I, then laugh at him at the end. Cause like. Just a little. <laughs> Taddies, Taddies, I love your optimism. Okay. I am a big fan of how, how uh, positive you are. All right. Your positivity is a wonderful thing. I'm telling you right now that there's maybe a 20 to 30% chance that we could pull it off. And even then, we would have no money for infraspacing in all of the bonuses that we need to. We'd get no additional prosperous planets. And we'd have to waste a bunch of time like recolonize or colonizing extra mineral planets. It's not you know worth what? it. You know what? I take it back. We can do it easily. It's not even tough. I there's a roadmap here. It's actually insane. I want to see it. It's very do easy. It. It's very easy. Look at I mean, look at that. We can juice all of these up. This is ready to be juiced right here. This is going to get fixed. We can juice this one. We can, we can juice everything. We can juice everything we, here. It, okay. I, I, I want to see it. I, I don't think I'm it's not, going no, to no. work, but I want to see it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it unless no, I have the don't express you permission. Even, don't you even. You have no my express no. permission. No. Don't you even try and weasel out of this one. At this point, I want you to show me how this works. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll help you as much as I can. I will look for every possible way for us to make minerals, but I All think right. it's the wrong call. All right, okay, we're we're in. We're locked in then. We're locked in. Um, Poggy, it's time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're locked in. We cannot reverse that course of action. Anyway, I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, we'll be back in like, I don't know, how long do you think it'll take for him to finish the game, Ralph's <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think he'll finish the game as much as it'll finish him. You know what? I, I, <laughs> non-optimism is not a color that suits me well. How, how do we fix this for you? I, um, what do you mean? How do we fix this? We, we do, we do this. It's, it's fine. It's totally, totally fine. Um. So, do you want space time aversion on the infraspace mastery? Because if you're fixing those, you need infraspace mastery. How early do you need it? It's, it's. We're not. Time dilation is not a play. I think it's a good it's a good thing it's a good question um i think in for space mastery right now is is the is the strat then i think we go hard on minerals because mm -hmm. we get the tech reduced by 20 percent, and then that'll allow us also to pick up something else alternatively maybe we don't even need in for space mastery in fact you know what here's a here's a radical thought Void synthesis. Yeah, our happiness is going to be terrible because we have a bunch of hanging people that require infraspace mastery. But not right now. Well, we can get it later. For the yeah, water. Don't... <laughs> My soul. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You know what? I will. I will. I will yield to uh, to traditionalist thought here. Let's go infraspace mastery. Okay. You've got to fix those two mineral planets. They're yeah. costing you like ten income total. It's well, well how, how come it's gone from how come it's gone from us to you? No, us. Okay, so this is it's to us, the, us, from us, the sorry. ocean planet to the south. Sorry, the Earth world planet to the south of where you're. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and this one too. Yeah, exactly. But you can. Oh wait, we don't have stream splitting. Uh, that's fine. We don't have um, splitting. Yeah, yeah, so we can't put in Chris Race relay in north to try and get that. That's fine. This will work. Okay. We are only nine remaining. Very broke. Mm -hmm. Exceedingly broke. <laughs> Let me just oh. check this. Let me just check. I, I just want to check. I just want to check. We can build one. <laughs> <laughs> And that's with cheaper structures, too. Mm -hmm. I may be willing to concede that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's one action down the line. No, we can, we can do better than this. We can do, we can do better than this. There's, there's, there's a way. All right, you want, you, want, you want my take, Taddies? Go all the way back. You can't undo to the, all, the missions. All the way back. What, Keep to like going. here? Yeah, all the, all the way, yep. Yeah. And then that... you, yep, yeah, so take the, the thing that produces a resource. The tech that gives you the void synthesis thingy. Mm -hmm. And put one, put one up the top left to make biomass. Top left. 28 biomass. money yeah. plus a three money lane is so much cheaper than that long range relay it's true and then you can put the f and then you can put the food into the people and that leaves you with 54 money instead of whatever it was that you had before <laughs> pretty sure it was negative 12 yeah yeah something like that <laughs> who's counting who's counting rhapsody <laughs> who is counting Okay, so right now you're looking to fix bad planets so that you have income, so that your next five years aren't you crying okay. in the corner. Let me let me be very clear here. We would still be having this problem if it wasn't for my stupid mission, okay? We would still be really, really stuck for cash. Like, we would still oh, yeah. be, like, I, I'm not really stuck it. for cash. It's just that... Now we're stuck for cash and trying to solve three problems instead of one. Um, yeah. So I would I would do another one of those synthesis thingies and fix mm -hmm. that colony. You you want to fix really? planets because you want to get income. Yeah. I... <sighs> fix other things than that colony first, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Because that colony could. Where else up... can we, we could... fix with a synthesis? Uh, the, the mining lab to the south that needs a person. 
you can't synthesize a person. Well, that's not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks pretty hard. What are people? Like 72% water, 18% carbon? Just throw it together. 10% soul. One ore. So can we do... Is it one, is it one resource that we can do? Or is it just... Yeah, it's one just a single resource. A basic resource. Mm, I don't think it's worth. I think I think we undo and is it worth it just for that though? I don't think so. You know what? Uh here's a here's an interesting thing that'll probably net you a big chunk of money. Bottom yep. left, uh, the colony the jungle colony in the bottom left. Yeah. Uh, Remnant world can produce goods from people, right? Uh, Remnant world? No, Remnant worlds can't make goods. Not, Not without a four ends. Silted. Oh, oh, you've it's, got that silted. It's a four ends. Sorry. Yeah. Silted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a four ends That's care sadness. about goods. Silted care about bots. Yeah. Prosperity. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Begr begrudgingly, they confess their meek admiration for Orbital. I'll sing it from the rooftops. I don't think yeah, this specific I'm... decision was great, but I stand okay. wholeheartedly behind many of yours. Lolash, how are you feeling? Yeah. Oh, you want me to use <laughs> my luck to influence your plan? <laughs> yes, of course. What are you what are you possibly hoping to get from that? Just out of curiosity. Mostly money, but I would settle for anything. How much money you're do you You're not going to get enough money. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to end up spending 60 money to set it up and it's not worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's okay. All right. We're on three out of ten. Mm -hmm. How many years do we have left? Three. Oh, yeah. We are, uh. Poof. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, ooh, yeah, uh, out of money? Mm-hmm. Got some income there, well done. Prosperous. A lot of prosperity. Okay. Five. This is, this is fine. We got in for space coming up next year. Mm -hmm. This That'll is solve okay. A bunch of problems for you. Get you a bunch more. Or... This is okay. Uh... So I'm still a little concerned that our happiness is seventy-two percent, and we're not fixing any of the shortages. That second line that you just threw is totally irrelevant. It doesn't help improve prosperity, and like the first Money, line, then. what? money is it? it's for money yeah, it's for yeah. income for for money spent as well so yeah it's just yeah really... actually i think i might be able to make that a little bit more profitable anytime you can get someone to take a good from you or you know give a good to someone you are going to get some income from the trade this is yeah this is fine <laughs> this is fine Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh again <laughs> it's working it's okay. ye of little faith ye of little faith okay um slip streams are extortionately expensive by the way mm. um i 
think we have a root map here. This is... I, yeah, okay. Um, It's probably going to cost you more to do that mechanized harvest than it would to just synthesize the biomass. If you don't want the mechanized true. harvest to be struggling itself. But I was going to pick up... Well, yeah, oh, but wait, you already... what? I have synthesizers. Yeah, you have synthesizers. It'd just be next year you'd have to make it. Oh. Or Infraspace Mastery is going to give you the ability to link it from the bottom, so just do that next year anyway. Oh, that's a good shout. But you see, I was thinking... Jungle, sorry, mechanized harvest here, yeah, because then we that create the robot come, with the That can the also ore. come from the, the planet in the middle that needs another export and also needs another successful adjacency. The one in the middle, the ocean world to the right. Uh, this one here? To the right? No, to the ocean world? To the, the, to the right? Right, right. yeah. <laughs> right. yeah the, right. <laughs> the right? Uh, yeah, the right. Yeah. Oh, God, I... Mm. Infraspace mastery is so expensive. It is. I would tell you what, though, we're gonna do it. We're gonna actually complete this mission, whether it's whether it torpedoes everything else yet to be <laughs> yet to be seen. But actually, maybe it's already maybe it's already visible. I, I don't know. Hop to the next year. I don't think there's any other choice right now. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. All right. Okay, so Let's grab your infra space. Because there's two instant problems you can fix with that. Uh, is it? Yeah. There's the uh, one yeah, in the so south the, with the person. The I, don't, world. I do not think that I have the money to fix uh to fix them. So this is gonna have to be here. Okay. Uno. It's that nice. gives you less of a un undo those two uh, three, and then go to the ones to the north, three. and then feed the water from the one that we previously mentioned. No, sorry, to the north. The we ocean world up north. Yeah. Ah, okay. You want? You mean? Uh, yeah, this one here. Yes. Because I think that pops prosperous. Because that by probably doing gets that. you a yeah. As well, you as get you get a prosperous and a successful yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. And or, very important. Then can I? Oh, I can't synthesize. I'd love to synthesize biomass. I think, actually, let me uh, try this one instead here. Is that? Is that worth is that worth it for the sake of a successful planet, or do you think it's better just to synthesize here? Um I mean the other planet connection gives you, you know, a prosperous and a successful. That gives you a successful and a non-struggling. So I think synthesis on a later year there is probably a better idea. Also floats fewer yeah. resources, because you don't really want to be floating, you know, a bunch of excess resources you're not, not exporting. Huge income, though, actually. From 45 up to 55. Is yeah, the, the other way got you, like, 53 or something. Uh, that, hmm. that might actually be slightly cheaper, because it allows us to forge out here. Okay, and then fund the robot to the north. Yeah. Oh god, but then Yeah. Is this our last year? No. We yeah, got another year after we this. Got one more year. Alternatively, let's do this now. Fifty three. I mean, if Almost. you don't want to, we need to see, and this is, this is the problem I said we'd run into with the mineral thing, is we just have no way to fix our happiness and sort our mineral problem, or our mineral task. Yeah. Do we even have the ability to fix the mineral task right now, though? We do. We definitely do. 
Probably. I don't. I don't think we do. Because think of it not in terms of years, because now we have to think about it in terms of income. We have 50 gold yeah, this year. Money. Next year, maybe we have another 50. So if we have 100 total, let's say 110, let's give ourselves a little bit of an edgeway there, right? It's 21 to put down an infraspace relay. So we can put down a few of those, but then no slipstreams. So two of those and four slipstreams seems like almost the maximum you're going to be able to afford with the plus 50% cost on slipstreams. Maybe yeah. three of them if it's short right. distance. Here, Do here we even, my... Hold up, hold up. Do we even have enough... Re disregarding the mission for a second, do we even have enough people in our empire to fix our shortages? Yes. Not anymore. We did, but then you did that big uh, set of oh, connections, this, this which bit, was good. This bit down here. Yeah. This bit down here. But that that eight extra people. Um, oh, yeah. The one so, extra person was, was from here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we have extra people to the south. It's literally just a colony there with two people on. Right? It would That's have to true, be an infraspace relay in the middle there, but... Okay, so here's, here's where I sit, yeah. where I think the only way this works is you have to back all the way out. Well, not all the way out, but back before you did the colony on the left-hand side. Mm. So, like, start of this year, basically. Okay. There. That was before I did this um, setup here. Yes. Uh... No, I don't think you had to go back quite that far. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think that original setup that you had in the center there was fine, but then after you've done that, instead of trying to fix the issues on the left hand side, you need to infraspace the water across to the minerals up here, and then okay. for the next year and a half, basically, you have to try and infraspace people to the minerals on the southern side. That's the only way that you get the extra three minerals you need. We, so I, yeah, we do wanna... not. We don't have any way to fix this. Like this, this planet is straight up unfixable, and that's that's honestly, that's all eight. That's that's a hundred percent right there. That's huge. We're I, I, we don't have a roadmap. Negative. That. Yeah, yeah. We're at negative forty-two happiness from un. Like those two mineral planets will also be both negative eight. That's negative six, and that is negative four. Okay, they're not as bad then. Yep, these two will probably be both eight. Yeah, they're both eight. So fixing that is pretty crucial because that's an immediate alleviation of 16%. Fixing this is also eight. Yep, so I mean, we fix that. That's another eight. It's just but, people well, that are really the shortage, I think, right? We're going to take a huge hit from not completing that mission, though. You're not as wrong. Well. I mean, look, just what are the chances, it's eh, Lolash? Not, it's, not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm telling you 100%, it's not worth it. It's, I'm telling you it's also not worth it, but the amount of resources you would spend trying it, in my mind, yeah. simplify the rest of the game. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> there will be very few things we can or will do after that. Okay, I mean, that's... Did I... There was definitely an asteroid that I didn't... Uh... I didn't take. I mean, there's, there's microforges you didn't set up, but... Yeah, there's... And that's super profitable, actually. It's actually, like, ludicrously, like, profitable. I love how every single time you try and drag the same thing in. Don't don't put that one there actually though, because didn't you end up with a goods output to the the north of that area? A goods output to the north of that area. Yeah, when you set up, didn't that that struggling planet that needs a biomass? Doesn't it next take goods? Yeah, uh, it does. Left. Yeah, so if you leave the good just hanging in there for the moment, and that becomes non-struggling, yeah. you'd be able to join it in. Actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every, Every time. time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
That's prosperous. Only eight, though. That... Miserable. Good effect okay. I mean, maybe we... Maybe we skip Infraspace. No, not skip Infraspace, but we skip the year. Mm -hmm. We infras Infraspace here. Yep. Easy. Okay, that solves 8% then... of the happiness. And then we solve these two with synthesizers. Okay, that would have to be next year. Yep. Uh, and so we are giving up on the mission officially at this point. I mean, officially is a very strong term. I think this is one <laughs> that we just sort of like <laughs> unofficially. Okay. Then I think you're right. Yeah, you're on, mate. It's so... It's so close as well. That's what's so... That's what's really frustrating. Like, it is so close. Like, we we make this connection... Make this connection here. We pop down a Microforge. It, it, it's, it's all so close. There must be a way. There must be a way. Um... So, Taddies, I love your optimism. I'm no, look, look, I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. Uh, you know how you hear about like the phrase a game of millimeters? Yeah, yeah. this is a game of parsecs. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I refuse, I, re I refuse to believe such a concept, such as a parsec, actually exists. I, yeah. I, you, you don't have the money. Earth's flat. Caddies. You don't need to believe in it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <sighs> oh, God. If anyone's unfamiliar with that, uh, check the Valheim series. If anyone's unfamiliar with that, the Earth is uh, flat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Look outside. Your eyes don't lie. Do you see the curve? <laughs> 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 You know what? Mm -hmm. I I actually legitimately I think the biggest error here, and I don't think it was taking the mission, underestimating the cost of what it costs to build a slipstream. It's actually huge. It's monstrous. We're plus fifty percent, and it hits sixty percent if we get all the stuff that we want to get. Mm -hmm. It's it's actually ginormous. You're right. It is ginormous. I think, like, one thing I do want to mention about this run in, in kind of like a strong positive is we actually ended up underestimating, in my opinion, the Microforge Labs because they were yeah. what we needed as the thing to take all of the chips. That's what... It was It was the clincher. If we took them earlier and, you know, exploited the chips a little, maybe other things would have happened. It's impossible to know. Mindset's twenty twenty. If that goes instead into a robot to the south, does that make that successful? Ooh, the, no, because it needs a biomass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, yes. Yeah. There is a there's a connection that you can make for a successful planet, uh, sort of just northwest of where we are, um, with a single line that will be reasonably cheap. It's people into the water planet, the primordial planet up north. Right. Oh yeah. Up there. Bang. Prosperous that. This good. It's very good. Oh man. And then Just can the... you drag the water over to that mineral planet? Can do. That's brilliant. Very pogged. But zero money. Money is the entirety of the problem here. Uh, We're not going to get better than this, Taddies. No. I refuse. Um, but also, I think you might be right, actually. Legitimately, I think you're, you're, I think you're pretty much spot on. Let me uh, undo that connection, because that does give us a prosperous planet, but let's sort of work through this a little bit. Okay, don't drag. There we go. Prosperous that. 
Uh, that's one more mineral input that we need. BTW. Mm -hmm. Still can't solve this problem over here, but, you know. One more mineral. Where can we... Do you want it's to just possible. colonize a floating galaxy, like a floating planet? Like, is that going to be more than we lose to it? I think it is, actually. That's actually hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Th yeah. Is there, a, is there one that we can do that will hit, like, a billion asteroids? <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not. But that's at least six, right? If we want it. All right, next mission. What do we want to take? <laughs> Uh, you're funny, Taddies. Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. Click the decline button. Go look at our successful Forge Worlds. Mm -hmm. Is there any hope there's of flipping, like, that world, central yeah. fort? Yeah, there's a successful Forge World next to that prosperous mineral. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. It only requires an import or an export. Well, I mean, if you could get um, an extra person in there, you wouldn't need to get the random galaxy. Sorry, the random planet, rather. This is true. It's the money. I mean, that it is prosperous is that. It's the happiness. It, just, it, it would have been hilarious is... if we could complete one more mission. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think one more prosperous is worth as much as um, fixing some happiness somewhere. Like one of those eight happiness planets or whatever. Can uh, we fix any of those? Oh, I don't think we can. Ooh, not just no, it's not, short. It's just shorter. If I do that, yeah. Honestly, I, I'm i not just saying this because I feel embarrassed about derailing this entire run. Um, slip space overload plus 60% is absolutely destroying us right now. The, mm -hmm. It's it's huge. It's actually... It's, well, so it's destroying everything. The thing, the thing I think we can learn from this game is that we just we flipped to Vast too early. If we had... Yeah expanded slightly more slowly and focused a little more on tech slightly earlier we would have been in a position where we could get all of these prosperous links earlier and like right now we're sitting at 66 income if we were at 66 income five years ago that's 300 money we would have had to spend on infraspace which would have like imagine if we had 300 money right now like how many more connections could we have made so I think that's where we fell apart. I think in our mid game, we just we pushed a little too hard for expansion, um, and I think that was a byproduct of us taking the two successful missions at the same time. I think that's the mistake we made. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I'm forgetting about machine brain interface is is annoying as well. Actually, oh, although yeah, I was... I would I would posit that I don't actually think that it's as large of an impact as initially thought. Prosperous that, I guess. Is there any link we can make that will... Uh... <laughs> Hilariously enough, actually, all of these little connections that I've been doing, they give us six a pop. So this actually almost pays for itself here. Yep. This setup. Yeah, we don't care about the money. We no, only no, care no, no, about no. happiness. I mean, in hindsight. Yeah, um, yeah. What does this need to prosper? It just needs to trade with one more planet. Uh, well, I mean, you have to make the struggling planet up to the left successful for that. Look we'll at that. that 35. Successful. 35 bucks. Yeah. Hey, that, well, well, hang, on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, yeah. That ice ball, put it, make it a mineral planet. And then the game ends. It's, uh, it's December. Oh, it's December, right. Yeah, it's, it's a slipstream one. Yeah, no, I think this is it. I think this is it. <laughs> if only there is, like, one connect, one singular connection. 
If only. If Man. only. It's this process that really, that really irritates me as well. Because we could have taken, we could have taken time dilation or space time aversion. There's not a single void synthesis machine down anywhere. I think, I think you're right, Raps. Chronically underrating the, the microforges as well until like the very end. Mm -hmm. when we actually used them. That that came back to bite us in the bahuki, for sure. Yeah, I agree. I think this is just a matter of find somewhere pretty to put a line down and then see how the score rolls out. Agree, agree. This is this is dragging out the inevitable. Um, anyone anyone want to take uh, take a stab at our estimated score here? Uh, I'm going to say seven point five. I Have think we're going to be around. I think we're going to be around nine. Uh, hold on. That doesn't. Sorry. I I'm, I want to find a, a meaningful line. Uh, I don't. I don't think there is one though. Just to <laughs> throw that out there. Mm -hmm. I think we. I think we've done pretty much everything that we possibly could do. Also, I wish I put this microforge in the center here because then we could get chips. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid mistake. Oh, oh, that's okay. It wouldn't rewind. have popped successful. It wouldn't need another import. Yeah, you're you're right. Actually, you're right. Man, if if we only had like a little bit more money, that would have solved all of these problems. That's what's so tragic. Like three infra space mastery things, and we're back up to 100% happiness. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? Screw it. There we go. All right. Oh, went past the 7.5 to 7742. Yeah. I mean, it's the 79% happiness that kind of tipped me off that we were headed in the direction we were. Yeah. yeah. So what did that what did that last mission end up equating to? Well, it was like 15 15 points, which is yeah. like 750 score. But we also passed it rather than failing it, which is like a negative 500. So it was a 1,250 yeah. point swing for completing that. But the happiness modifier... I mean, we're actually... 2,300 was what we were off. 100% happiness, right? We'd have basically got 10,000 if we had 100% happiness. Mm -hmm. right, that's, that's on me, boys. This is That was on me. We shouldn't have taken that last mission. I, I will say, I don't think it was the cause of all of our problems. I think money was the, the cause of all of our problems, but yeah. yeah. It yeah. derailed things. It derailed yeah. things pretty I, pretty heavily. These things are I think, interrelated. I think I'll... Sorry. Hmm? You go. These things are interrelated. I think I'm happy to see how close we were to the possibility of popping that as well as uh, as, as well as well trying to deal with happiness a little bit at the time. But I think Lolash was 100% correct when we did the initial uh, estimate of the thing, which is it is going to cost the resource money, which we will not have to then solve the other things. Um, I think yeah. Void Synthesis, if that was changed in the other direction, I want to see the world where you try this and we didn't have Void Synthesis, but we had the extra months from Slipstreams being free. Yeah. I I, yeah, I that. think that might have actually... I think that might have actually made the big difference there, actually. Yeah. I don't think sure. Slipstream time to build would have made much of a difference because our income was struggling so much anyway, and we were skipping years towards the end, right? Like, we our, our limiting factor was money. I think, mm. for me, the two takeaways from this game are we poorly assessed how quickly we'd be able to do the remnant and forge world missions um we just really struggled to get those set up and a lot of our happiness issues stemmed from us trying to get those missions done mm -hmm. and the second thing is yeah. the brain machine interface uh and also so yeah i think honestly all of our issues can stem from the, the mission taking if we don't take those missions we don't as expand as much as we did because we're not trying desperately to fulfill the needs we potentially complete missions more quickly um if we only take like one of them and whatever the other mission was i forget what it was maybe it was also terrible maybe we just it got was unlucky. terrible i don't um, remember oh 
Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but I think it was terrible. I think we got really unlucky on that mission roll. But yeah, if we had expanded a little less slowly because we weren't trying to complete those two missions, we wouldn't have hit yeah. fast as quickly. Our income would have been higher. If we remembered our brain machine interfacing, we would have had more income from that as well. Like there was, I think that's where everything sort of fell apart in the mid game. I don't think it was like, honestly, Taddy's you taking that mission probably influenced our score by like 500 points, maybe, or, or maybe a thousand points. Like it's not a huge deal compared to what the mission taking those two missions did to us so don't feel bad i'm impressed that you managed to complete it at all to be honest it, it was no I, I honestly i think that last mission was the impetus i mean it made it made a lot of planets prosper actually because of the microforges yeah. and just actually forcing us to stick microforges down was a really good thing i think we should have had them there I think if we'd have used microforges to help us transition to a vast empire we would have had way fewer issues than we ended up having i think you're right that uncomfortable vastness was really really toxic to the run i, I think yeah. you're right yeah and our happiness issues all stemmed from that as well right like those two mineral planets the planets on the yeah. western side as yeah. well like we had a total of like negative 20 happiness just from trying to complete those two missions so i don't know a bit unfortunate yeah. but it was still a fun game lots of discussion <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And run. more than anything, like this is something that you are going to be able to take something away from, or at least I am definitely going to be able to take something away from to my own play. Yeah, for an sure. instructive, an instructive moment for sure. An instructive moment for sure. Uh, anyway, folks, thank you ever so much for watching. Lolash, thank you ever so much for joining. Um, I think you you added a lot to this run, even though uh, this is the worst score that I think me and Rhapsody have ever had uh, throughout this series. Uh, you know, I I don't mean that in a mean way. Uh, I think we learned more on this run than we've learned on every other run combined. So uh, I think that's a, a brilliant takeaway. Uh, but anyway, folks, check out Rapsty's Lolash channel. Link down below in the description. Just, Thank just you very for much a moment, for watching. though, before you do the outro, oh. Lolash, yeah. it's been a while since you've been on either of our channels, like individually in a pre-recorded episode. Would you like to tell the people what you do and where you do it? Oh, yeah, sure. I can do that. Hi, I'm Lolash. I'm a Twitch streamer <laughs> exclusively at the moment. You may not have heard of me, but I, I'm a Twitch streamer. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Lolash. I'm a variety streamer. I do a lot of strategy focused stuff. So lots of thinky games. Mm. So if that's your bag, you can you can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash Lolash. YouTube channel to come soon. Maybe. Keep an eye out. Jubated, as they say. I've heard that <laughs> one before. Yeah. I, I, it was, it was, I just, you know what? I completely forgot. I just assumed that everyone would know who you are. Uh, that's absolutely terrible of me. I it's cause, it's honestly, we've been friends for so long. Right? right? Like, we, we, right. we were creating together like four or five years ago. So, yep. yeah. Lolash is a household name if you're in my household specifically. And then definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Real intro, real outro. Uh, on that note, folks, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Adios. Bye, guys.